Welcome back to episode 42 of the Squad Brunch Podcast. Uh, if that's staying in, <laughs> no, dude, that's not going Some clips, <laughs> just do like, this is how you do it. <laughs> so maybe that's not going in, but um, how is everyone's weekend, man? We're still in Canada, no golf today, golfing tomorrow, uh, just um, past Father's Day weekend here. Um, what do you guys do? Mac, what'd you do with your uh, big pops? I went to the drive range yesterday with them. It's a nice, nice. nice chill day, kept it casual, and we had dinner together. What about you guys? Nice. I went uh I went to see family yesterday, so I went to my nonos, nonos, and then my dad's side, my uh, cousin's house. And then on Saturday though, me and my dad went to Blue Mountain for like mountain biking. Oh, I saw that. So what you what you do? Yeah. We went mountain biking. <laughs> okay, like, <laughs> yeah, we went about, like what'd you do? <laughs> yeah, okay, so like so the we went to shit. It was pretty sketchy some points because like they're just like skiing and snowboarding, there's like yeah. blue Green. Black diamond. That's green. pretty sick, though. Yeah, I mean it is, but like I was fucking scared. Like I've never done it before, and like some of these paths have like literally. Fucking Do they have roots. like those trails where you know where they like, curve kind of? Yeah, we went through down like one, and it did. But like there's still like roots and like rocks yeah. and all yeah, that yeah. shit in the middle of the path. Um, but and we didn't really know like exactly where we were going, so like it was kind of it wasn't marked that well. And then we would like go down, and then we'd end up just going back up. So like. And then we figured out you got to like stay in the tree line and just go down and then you got to make your way up. And the part hard, hardest part's going up for sure. Yeah, like, yeah. definitely. I like, it's, it's a challenge. It's fucking tough, man. Yeah. So it's we like did, fun like, going down. It's like a challenge going up. Yeah. So, so if you're, if you know Blue Mountain, like to the left, um, where like the far, if you're looking at the farthest left, um, yeah. gondolas and stuff, yeah. that's where the mountain biking is. Uh, so we did like a couple of those, like, it's like probably a quarter way only up the hill. Um, so we did a couple of those up and down and then, um, my dad's like bike fucking seat was not working well. It kept on like going down shit. and dude, he was flying down these fucking mountains. Like I was scared. Like there was one point where we went up a bridge and then it was like pretty fucking steep straight down. He's just going, he just went and there's like roots and shit, bro. Like, yeah, dude. And I was, I, I like walked down that part. (laughs) Really? Oh, you didn't even get on. You got off the bike and just walked it. Yeah. Holy has he, part. has he done it before though like mountain biking and no, stuff no oh, he's just like yeah, fuck it committed nuts, to it man. he yeah. just raw dogged it yeah. took it raw yeah and then wait for so we did it's pretty we wild. did that <laughs> his seat was like broken so we went back fixed it and then instead of going doing those again we wanted to go to the very top of the mountain and there's no way to go to the top unless you like took, either drove like along the street you couldn't take the gondola and then um, there's no like trail to get up to the top, so we had to take like the pa- the the road where like cars would go, and just on the side. And it's so fucking steep, dude. Like halfway up, like I'm I started to walk the bike, um, and it took probably like 30 minutes to get up. And then there's some more trails up top that were like actually like more fun in my opinion because it wasn't like downhill, it was just along the top of yeah. And I was like going zigzagging easier. through trees, yeah, a little easier, but like. Still like technical, but like not as like scary. Just yeah, more yeah. like turning and stuff. Turning instead yeah. of like up and down, up and down. Yeah. yeah, like getting speed to like make sure you get up the like rocks and shit. Anyways, so the, we did that, but then we on the way down. Now we're going down this like street, the street, and oh. it was like a long like it's like a zigzag street that goes to the left of the Blue Mountain, and it's like long and it's all downhill. So you pick up fucking speed, and I was like holding my brake the whole way down. As I, I'm in the front, and then my dad just fucking zooms by me. He's like hover, like uh, bent over, like the fucking aerodynamics and shit. shit. Aerodynamics yeah. is like, I we clocked it on like Strava, so and and uh, the max speed was like 50 kilometers, so that was probably the part we were going 50. But he like zoomed by me, so he was probably going like 70 kilometers an hour on the bike. Holy to the right fuck. of the roads, plus. He forgot that his fucking... So we went back to fix the seat, but another part of the bike, they had this like rubber that was wrapped around a part that was close to the tire and the gear. Sure. And it came loose during one of the trails and like got stuck in the gear. So when he like went to go pedal, it got stuck. So he, he nothing happened. But I remembered like halfway down that hill is like his fucking rubber thing was loose because like that happened maybe like an hour before he like tied it up, but it could have easily just came back undone. And then when he passed me, I saw the fucking rubber thing just like hanging flattering, on. hanging off. And like at any point, it could have just like got caught in the tire or the gear. And it would have been. And like he would have went. He would have fallen over the handlebars. He would have like just flipped. And there's cars on the side oh. too. 
Did you tell him? Like, no, I, mean, you I just couldn't let it, say anything. You kind of just let life take I, it. Yeah, I was just like praying straight up. I was I was straight up praying. Like, that's that's I was fucked. holding my break and I was like, I can't say anything. Like, there's like there's nothing you can do right now. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. This is gonna pray. I'm surprised you have it on the bike though, man. But the it's fuck? probably like a guard so that dirt doesn't get in their shit. Yeah, I guess. Probably. But you know what I mean, yeah. So it was like used a zip tie was like um, holding it down and like it came out of the zip tie. But yeah. So like, that's pretty exhilarating. Yeah. Though. Once I saw him get to like the bottom, I was like, okay. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it was fun though. Nice. Yeah, it What'd was fucking tiring though. Yeah. yeah how long? Gassed. How long were you like biking for? Uh, we were only biking probably for, so we clocked it like it was like an hour forty five of like moving time, and then two and like a half hours of like action from like start to stop. But mm-hmm. like we went, I like, got to pee. It's still a lot though, up and downhill. Yeah, that was the hardest part too. It was fucking burning your legs. You gotta like change gears and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you gotta so go straight to zero. I mean one. Yeah, just yeah. lower it so it's easy to get up that hill. And then you gotta change gears back up when, when you're, you're on down. flat or going down, so you can like gain speed to get up the hills. And then, yeah, it's a lot more technical than I thought. Mountain biking. Yeah, <laughs> it's also though. when I was when I when me and my family used to go up like Blue Mountains in the summer because it does turn to the mountain bike trails. I remember seeing guys like broken arm like just coming up but these guys were they were going on probably the blacks and stuff like getting carried we out a couple blocks oh fuck yeah because we didn't know where we were going so oh we were just going you... down fucking trails okay you weren't like going like you okay you were definitely it's on not blacks. well it's not like a ski mountain where like you can see well. signs yeah. they're all kind of like cross paths too together yeah it's like yeah. a bunch of fucking trails like all like there's a blue pointing this way a black pointing this literally way. Like, like the mountains i don't know like which, oh you right yeah, yeah. Like how we missed a mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went yeah. down the wrong one. Double black diamond once. Yeah, we did. No, that was fun though. <laughs> it's just worse though with like mountain biking because like it's way more dangerous and it's tight. And like I see guys sometimes flying down these like little pathways and shit. Bro, and, like, if, if you don't know, like you could fucking dude, die. One dude, bad, it, one root dude, and you you're done. you get stuck and you go fucking over. Aren't there yeah. just yeah. trees that you can just slam into? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, on the top, <laughs> the top part of the trail... There was like points where like I would be biking here and the end of this carpet right here would literally be just a cliff. Like, That's fucked. Down. Yeah. That's fucked. No like guard. Straight nothing. down. They had a guard at like one point and it was like maybe a fucking five, six foot guard. <laughs> but all the other points had no guard. Damn. And they stopped doing downhill um, mountain biking, mountain biking like tours and stuff because of like liability. Makes sense though, yeah. yeah. Wait, liability. Oh, people like breaking they bones do and it. shit. It's like yeah. you go off and like if you want to do it, like you can rent the bike and go do whatever you want. But like, we're not taking you because there's so many injuries. Probably, yeah. yeah I remember I've mean, seen guys like arms sling. Like, literally, his arms snapped. Yeah. And, I, and we were kids. Like me and Nick were like 12, 10. We're like, what the f- what the hell is going on over here? Like this guy's getting carried out. Like his ankle might be that we're going the wrong way. Just a lot of injuries. Mountain biking season. It's summer. an extreme sport. So yeah, it is, dude. Yeah. If you see some of the extreme ones, like they're insane. Yeah, they're like riding like a thin like cliff this bid, like this wide, and then r- beside them is just fuck, man. Like you're dead if you fall. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like the Red Bull ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stuff. exactly. Holy shit, dude. I couldn't stay on the fucking path when there was just like grass beside me. <laughs> like that. Was, like I straight up like. I don't know why, like just balance, I it's guess. Just and just, just mo- it momentum, straight, yeah. you know what yeah, I mean? Momentum. You just gotta, you like know how to use your body away yeah. to shit. Because also once you start like, when the change of speed, then you like start wobbling. So yeah. like I'd fucking end up in the tall grass beside me. It's like, if I'm on those cliffs, I'm dead. Yeah. Did yeah. you rent bikes? Yeah. Okay, nice. And it was just you and your dad up moving. Yeah. Okay, nice. And then, dude, oh my God. I forgot to say this. <laughs> I'm fucked. That's fucking it, man. Comic Con at Blue Mountain. So I saw those <laughs> videos, man. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, I know, dude. Bro, <laughs> so yeah, my story when we when we right when we got there, it's fucking packed, and I'm like, okay, like yeah, it's Father's Day weekend, but yeah, damn, yeah. this is like really packed. Then we start seeing people in costumes and shit, and like anime. I'm like, oh fuck, it's like Comic Con and Blue Mountain fuck. mixed with like there was a actual bike race going on, so what it was like hell? such a weird group of people. That kind of like suits you though. Comic Con, yeah, <laughs> fuck off, <laughs> dude. Straight up, like full on, like Bowser's aliens, like anime, fucking Mario, Luigi's, like 
They're so horny for people taking pictures with them and shit too, man. Dude, Wait, they, what do you mean they? What do you so mean they were horny? They spent so much time they in their like, costumes, and that they're like they're proud if someone wants to take a pic. Yeah, exactly. Oh, like they were fired up if you're like, hey, buddy, can I rip a pic? Like, they're like they're, po- like, they're sp- like posted up like celebrities, like people lining up to take pictures. Oh, and shit. they take that shit. Are so they in like serious? character too? Like they're acting like the person that they're like dressed up as. Yeah, that's weird. Them, bro. No yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. I've that's seen like the big comic cons in LA. They act so serious. Imagine they're putting all this makeup and like they buy clothes. They literally like i've seen people like they 3d print they literally make their own costumes bro it's like, like you think they're not gonna act like this shit. person yeah. like, you can't buy it you gotta make all that shit Woo! what the <laughs> fuck is going on right now man i, I replied to you then i'm like larping kind of guy LARPing? <laughs> like live action role play that's what it is i'm pretty oh. sure why the <laughs> fuck do you know what you know what that LARP is? is it's from a tv show that's why what tv show i don't remember dude uh-huh. Like, Are you sure you don't pretty, LARP on the weekends with your boys? I fucking knew this was going to come up, bro. I'm like, just be, just because I know a term of what it doesn't mean I'm, I have any... You're into LARPing. You look like you would LARP. <laughs> do I really? I if feel like you do like LARP. medieval time shit with your boys. Like, if you had to LARP, what character would you be? That's buddy. your question. What, what what do I watch? Man, I'd be Ronaldo, man. What? Like, who, what, what do I watch? You'd be a human character. being? Yeah, a, car- a cartoon, man. I know who I'm going to be. Who? Fucking Spider-Man. There was a nah. spider in there. Fucking. Sh- <laughs> you're literally ripping these guys and you're. D- <laughs> well, we're saying like, what would you be if you could fucking LARP? I'm ripping Spidey Hundo P. Spidey pulls. <laughs> I think Steph would be like Rocket from uh, <laughs> wow. Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Who is Rocket? No, like Raccoon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm searching up Rocket. Raccoon, man. I'm searching up ro- Wait, Rocket. You kind of like remind me of him sometimes though. Wait, Rocket. Rocket, yeah. Look up Rocket Avengers. Just like a. Dude, there is some. You like, think a little raccoon with a big gun? Weirdo. <laughs> I could see Steph doing that. <laughs> definitely weird as fuck, but some cool ass costumes. I'm surprised I didn't realize they did it there. Yeah, that's rocket. <laughs> could that's be the move. One of the normal ones for sure. <laughs> Wait, who is not normal? Bro, there's people with full on like guy made like a fucking chainsaw attached to his head that was like literally four feet long. So like and it was like, just on his head, just attached to his head. He wasn't holding anything else to like. Carry. No, and in full like suit. Jesus, of shit. yeah, it's crazy. Like the, did you see like I, one of them was literally looked like a transformer, bro? His costume. Yeah, I seen seen some of that. So so what is a con- sorry? Can you explain like bro, what it's is like that? Halloween just, for adults? You know what I mean? Like they, it's they a con- it's like, a convention. Like yeah. they go. It's like like minded people all meeting in one spot, and like a big thing is cosplay. Yeah. So like if you're really extreme into it, say that like, you like transformers you dress up as like a transformer and that's like your hobby kind of thing it's like you, some people go golfing power some people go to comic-con and stuff power rangers yeah there tell was, me there was some there fucking was power ranger there was fucking bowser dude like literally had the full did he talk costume. like that no way he talked like talk to him. i'm not okay. talking to them okay 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 i'm <laughs> eating my lunch and i'm <laughs> well, you took some pictures viewing. with them yeah you saw i thought you took some flex yeah one pic <laughs> no a couple <laughs> There was one pitch, one selfie. I had to after like I wanted to complete the series. That was a good series. It was a good series because I had. I was like, like there's I saw no way afar, this guy. And then they came. Went and to like a, a, an actual event for this. No man. I was about to say is like your dad's into some fucking unique shit. Oh, I guess it could have came across because I never put any like mountain biking. Stuff yeah, there was that. there was no contact, so I'm like, yo, like Tony must fucking <laughs> love fucking Mario and Luigi. I, I have Damn, no that idea. Must have looked weird. Fuck. No, it wasn't that. Weird. I, I, I didn't get that vibe to be honest when I saw it. I just thought you were just at fucking Blue Mountain. And there's just <laughs> shit going on. <laughs> there's just weirdos. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Damn. Seth, what about you? Um. So my parents got like a new place at Friday Harbor. So okay. we spent like the day there. And then my dad's like into interior design with my sister. Because she's like a designer and stuff. So we just kind of spent the day designing designing like the new spot. Damn. And then we got food after. Is it nicer sold, than the other, the other spot? Yeah, it's like bigger. Just so, still yeah. have the other no, spot they, too? Like they sold they that sold one it? and yeah. then got like a newer one. Okay. Nice. That's pretty dope. Whoa. Is it in the same like building? Or no, is it's it? a newer. It's like a brand new building. So it's like still under construction kind of. Was it okay. the one across the lake? Was it that one? I remember it's that It's like one. on the other side though. Is it like where they're building the gym area? Yeah. Like around oh, there. Okay. Yeah, 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 I know yeah. where it is. Yeah. Okay, that's dope. Is that done yet, the gym or no? Yeah, the gym area is done now. Did you get a lift it? How's it look? I didn't. I. It was like, it's that's, the place is so busy now. Like, yeah, so I can busy. see. Yeah. I can see. It, it was so busy without th- all that like extra living area. Yeah, but now like the entire front row of like that, you know, that where that boardwalk is. Yeah. It's like filled with like stores, so many small families. Damn. I can imagine them. Even in that spot. area of Innisfil, there's a lot of um, construction being done like outside. Mm. And it's open to the public, right? So you can just come for the day. 
Yeah. Is so Friday Harbor like still the move though? Still a dusty beach or what? Oh yeah, it's pretty dusty beach. It's Dude, more for like they need a bigger if beach. you need it like if you have like a boat, you're chilling. You know what I mean? Because then yeah. you just like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. more like you go out. You can just sit in like that area with your boat, chill there. I agree. Yeah. So you gonna get a boat soon? Or? Who knows? Could be the move. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it could that could be the fucking move? <laughs> Well done on using that. I'm glad you <laughs> I think that's the first it. time I've ever said it, dude. That <laughs> felt right, though, eh? Made sense in that moment. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. How yeah. are you? Me and, the, me and my fam. So my dad's like huge golfer, huge golf guy, and he loves early golf because he hates waiting for people and he hates being rushed. So we do a 6 a.m. fucking tea time at Derrydale 12, 12 holes. So me and my mom, we played a... We played teams, me and my mom versus my dad and my brother. And my dad, my, my brother does not play. So keep in mind, like, if we think we're bad, like, my brother did not get one tee shot past 20 yards. Like, he's fucking, yeah, like he's like, struggling to make contact. Ma- exactly. Like, he needs, like, a lesson or two. And my dad's pretty good. My mom's actually D. She can fucking swing a club. Her clubs are old as fuck, though. And we just played 12 holes. I got, uh, we lost by three strokes, which I think is pretty fun. It was basically me and my. Stroke play or match play? stroke play which i was fucking pissed when my dad was like because we lost the first hole we lost the second <laughs> hole by two strokes so like match play he's like no we're ripping stroke i was like fuck off man like we're ripping stroke like what a dusty thing would you have won the first match play lost four two i could see yeah, a golfer. But we, I mean, lost by three strokes yeah yeah, yeah. i could see a golfer wanting to play stroke play yeah i know <laughs> hey what a what a fucking guy and they know like fine. over the time that's gonna make yeah. a big difference it was also father's day so what am i gonna fucking <laughs> argue like oh, fuck, yeah. right. it's his day you know but i got two birdies two pure birdies on par threes um one was like a 35 foot putt it you was should. bro i couldn't believe it i just let it carry the right i like hit it with, uh, i like aimed like 10 feet right and it just perfectly perfectly went in like perfect pace there were guys on the tee box like waiting and they started cheering. Like they saw it because it was a, a downhill like 110 yards. And I was the farthest part of the green. It was at the beginning. Hole two? This was hole like 10. It was near the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. the guys in the carts were like cheering because they watched the putt. They were like, it was just, dude. Bro, it was the craziest putt of my that, life. That would have hyped Chip up so much. Bro, <laughs> I can was, already see. No, my dad. Fuck you. No, my dad was more fired. My dad, like, my dad, like, loves just good golf, right? So he was like, holy shit, that was sick. And he was, <laughs> he was fired up. Good moment right there. Yeah, it was. Um, and then the other one was just like a 10 foot putt. But I was still fired up about two birdies, two pure birdies, which I was stoked Pierre, about. You just told your mom to like take a seat for those two holes? Yeah, my mom, nah, she, she made some big shots when she had to. I, I, I was actually had a really good day. Like that was one of my best days of golf. I My dad was also there, there like helping me. You don't bro. have like, Steph in your <laughs> Yeah, bro. Like I don't got Steph fucking fingers in my ass. I don't got him. Chippy, chip, don't fuck it up, chip. And then, or that uh, like you know your ass sweat oh, yeah that was so bad in the recent youtube right? video my ass sweat was terrible Dude, was i thought horrible. it was just gonna be the first clip but then when Holy it was just fuck. on your ass my ass was just it was like a direct line of my ass sweat like yeah. not a little bit like my entire ass bro it looked worse in the video than it did in real life i'd say i do i didn't notice it mac i remember at one point you're like dude it's not even that bad bro but it was like fucking. it didn't bad. look that bad it, it was pretty bad well when you're zoomed in that much i mean that's all you have to look at yeah fuck. yeah um <laughs> yeah but it was a good day of golf we had fun then we went to Sunset Grill after dummy chicken and eggs. Of course, and then not rice, eggs, eh? chicken not chicken egg. and rice. No, I mean it was Sunset Grill. I was gonna do steak and eggs, but I was like, I had their chicken once and it was really good. So I ripped chicken and eggs, and then um, just kept it casual Sunday. My dad was watching golf, U.S. Open. That Clark guy won. Good story there, and that's about it. That's a great story. Huge story. What's the story? Mom passed away when he was in college. Oh, sure. um, first big tournament. I think I'm pretty sure it's like his first major. First major win ever. Yeah. He used to go to a quick golf too at one point because like after his mom passed after, away. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm. Um, and, and he won? won. Yeah, he won. He beat Rory by a stroke. Yeah. Is, my dad was cheering for Rory, but yeah, good story. Shit. Last week the Canadian guy won, right? Yeah, Nick Taylor. The big putt. To, huge, to huge, bro, massive huge putt. putt. And then a Canadian like rushed him to like celebrate with a champagne oh bottle God. and got tackled by security. <laughs> oh, the shit. guy that broke his leg. Uh, at no, the Canadian Open, so it was, I guess it was a hill going down, and when they let all the fans like go, like he tried, or I think he tried to sneak in one or the other, he falls running down the hill, his leg Ooh. like snapped, there was a video of him on the ground, literally leg like, snapped, just, and they were like, that's what happens when you try to rush the fucking It was a open. wet, slippery day out there. Yeah, bro, he snapped <sighs> his leg. Bro, I don't understand how that happens. It just fucking... No, uh, it's just like, also like, I understand someone else could break your leg, like... 
doing something, but like you like putting your force on your own legs, is breaking it is fuck. No, like an average looking guy. I think he, yeah. I think his leg just got under him, and yeah. I think he fell forward and his leg got stuck, and then it just with a lot oh, of people yeah. too rushing and it's slippery out there. Yeah, even just or running into trampled? someone. It could have been something. Like, I, I don't, don't know. think. Uh, I don't think it was a trample. I don't know actually. Don't I don't know. Mm. Could have been. Do you guys hear about the U.S. Open course though? Like how like exclusive it is that place? No. Wait, what do you mean? So the plot of land they sit on is worth eight billion dollars. Just the course. Just the course is worth eight billion dollars for the land. Wait, where is this? This is in uh, like L.A. Oh, Two hundred fifty thousand dollar initiation fee. You can't use your cell phone there. You can only call in the parking lot in your car, or they have like phone phone booths in like the actual like thing. You can't put on your shoes in the parking lot. Wait, why? You can't wear shorts. It's just super strict and super Wait, where are you supposed to put your shoes? Wait, what on? do you mean? Where do you put? Your, yeah, where do you put your shoes? <laughs> I guess either in your car. There's like a change room in there. Like it's I don't just know. like pristine. They don't it's want it to look pristine. like. It's super pristine. Yeah, you can't don't... post on social media. So no Wait, way we're. But was this the same? There. It's in L.A. And then like apparently like the houses there too are like you know bridal path like how the houses are huge. Yeah, yeah. My dad was saying that apparently the houses there make those houses look small. That's how big they are. Where Yo, is it? Like, it's I don't know downtown if, L.A. or like yeah, it's like off Sunset. Shit. It's like up there, so like close to the hills. Wait, is this the one that they use for the PGA? They just play out of where they play the US Open. Oh, so you can see it though, how it looks. Yeah. Technically, yeah. if you wanted. Yeah. Damn. Wait, so, so it's, it's like insane, bro. The, the amount of $8 billion for the land. They have. <laughs> That's fucking for the wild. Fucking land. Also, yeah, because they could the, just it's build like fucking prime, a bunch of yeah. mansions. Yeah, and that's that part I'm not surprised that it's like. Insane, but that's though. still a lot. Yeah, eight imagine billion. just sitting on eight billion dollars. Just a but fucking golf land. Do take up a lot of room. They yeah. do. Yeah, that's the yeah. big the big thing like about golf courses is like it's room. It's just real. Like they're in the business of just real estate. Yeah, especially now with like the developments going on in, like these certain areas. Like having a golf course is good because you have so much land. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, like yeah, Brampton if you do golf have land, apparently is um. Like, they're going to probably get bought out soon. I was yeah. shocked at the offer they got, and they didn't accept it. Like, that's crazy to me that that course in Brampton is that expensive. Wait, what was the offer? Sorry, what was the offer? I think it was, what, two, like $250 million offer they got? Yeah. Holy. F- just to buy, like, to buy it out flat. To buy the million. course, yeah, and buy the land. Damn. Because they're, yeah. they're developing all around it right now. Yeah, they are. It's smart to get in now and, like, sell. But Smart. And they said no. For the investor, yeah. Like, it's good for Brampton to hold because it's going to keep going up most likely. Mm, okay, so they're just... They're banking. They're going to get another offer worth more. 100%. Yeah, dude. Just the man, the amount of development going on. Like, there's fucking development all on, like, Ninth Line where, like, where you are now that's going up. I know, shit. dude. No. There's, so con- there's Apparently, there's condo buildings going up. Um, fuck, where is it? I can't remember where it was. On Ninth Line? I think it's on Ninth Line. There's condos going up. Yeah, there is. Yeah. yeah. On they're like, pretty much... Yeah. They're almost done, I swear. No, oh, no, no, there's more. There's, there's some houses, some. and then I think there's condos going by those houses. Oh, maybe not the condos. Maybe. Yeah. But what's it called? For the golf, Um, did they include the live golfers now? Is it, like, settled how they're going to do it? Well, the, all, like, the big live golfers were there. Like, DJ okay, was up so there. Because like, that's not a PGA Kepka. thing, right? US, US Open's PGA. It's one of the really? it's one of the big four majors. Yeah. yeah. No, but it's USGA. It's, I think it's part of the PGA Tour still. It's part of like the FedEx ranking and shit. That they I do. don't think it's PGA though, because that's like the only time the lift players have been in the those tournaments. Well, no, the they USGA were ones. they were in the PGA Championship and they were in the Masters. Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! So they just let them back in. I just think like the big tournaments. There's a way to qualify if you get a certain amount of points. No matter who you are. Yeah, well, I think it's like a point. Well, there's like, a point system. So, like, if you had enough points made from like last season, you could qualify for then this tournament. Then, or if you finish a certain spot of last year, then you can now come in and play it mm-hmm. again. Or if you're if you're a past champion like the Masters, you can go play. They probably obviously didn't allow the live golfers before, but now they're like lenient. Even I saw Taylor Made yeah. starting to post like DJ again. They didn't post him for a long time, and then now they're starting to actually. Like, Wait, why would Taylor Made care? Did they ever drop them or no? They never dropped them. I don't know why, Why? but apparently like, I just like saw like, a shit ton of comments like they PGA wouldn't post golfers? them as much. They might be, yeah. It's just a bad look. Yeah, it probably is. Like the when, that, the, when they signed with Liv, it was all about like the money, old money and yeah. blood and shit. So. Yeah, and now it's yeah. just like, all right, everyone's in it now. So. Yeah. Yep. Wild, wild, wild. Jake Paul, baby. Dude, Jake Paul. This this came a couple big actually Netflix announcements um, this this weekend. But Jake Paul, also known as a problem child, will have his story told on one of the new episodes of Netflix's docu series Untold. Have you guys watched that by the way? 
Has so I know. What other? No, oh, I think, oh, I think there, there's series, older episodes, saying, right? There is older. Yeah, the pretty sure I there think is I older. have watched one, but it was a lot. Wait, is it about like other people you're saying? Right? It's about their stories and their upbringing, yeah, how yeah. they went to their respective I might sport. Have. I might have. Um, I, so this that summer, name sounds familiar. The Untold Truth. It does. I, I was curious if any of you guys watched it, but um, featuring four new episodes, this docu series event will launch with an episode showcasing the rise of the controversial controversial YouTuber. It will be the first of a four stories told across four weeks. As after Jake Paul, the problem child debuts on August 1st, a new episode will follow each week. And the other, the other athletes or Johnny, or the other stories, I should say, Johnny Manziel, Victor Conte, and Urban Myers, Florida Gators. So Netflix released this first trip and that's it. So that's pretty sick. That's, I'm, that's I mean, really like cool the, for him, yeah. I feel like we, this is about like always going to happen. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Like just like they're making so many documentary, uh, documentary series like about everything. They're making about like serial killers. Yeah. It's just like in the thing to get like a good story. Yeah. And like run with it almost. You know what I mean? Well, Docu series are like the new wave. Okay, like. the Johnny Manziel one's gonna be fucking sick because uh, his is a lot to do yeah. with like him being an incredible college athlete and then fame hitting him and you seeing the negative aspects of like getting into his head falling into the right crowd which i think is also really good really good for new and up up and coming kids and athletes like being like yo especially with nil now and especially with you're going to be getting a lot of money or way more money i know there was like you know money under the rug when manzel was in was that a m but now but now their NIL athletes are getting millions in their first, second year of college, way more ego to the head, especially with social media. I think this docu-series, or I hope, you know, this episode with Manziel can showcase like, yo, you haven't really made it yet. You got to just stay focused. Don't get into the wrong crowd. Don't let money be everything. But um, I'm excited. And for Jake, dude, I'm excited to watch that too, just because how unique his story is. You know what I mean? Like, like who the fuck has technically gone from literally a YouTuber Vine creator to fighting ufc guys like i don't yeah. know like that's his, insane. his trajectory has been insane like n- I, he's the first person to ever do it of being a content creator and then now like pushing the wall of becoming like almost a professional athlete and like Wild. being ta- he's being talked about on espn fox <laughs> like it's pretty insane what he's been able to do and his story is interesting because he's also played like that whole the villain arc the whole time yeah with it which yeah, i think is fit hates well. her man yeah, Jake. Well, no, Jake. Loves he always has a new girlfriend. He's got a new girlfriend. Yeah, he has some like. What is he she? He hated like Julia Rose, though. So, right? Yeah, I mean, he hates. Did he? He like swapped right away. Did he get yeah. a tattoo he, of her like, or something? <laughs> I don't know. He's, I don't that know. guy's. Yeah, that guy's. He's, he's tattooed to like. He's like all over now, bro. I saw a yeah. picture of him with the kind of a sus fucking cover photo of the boxing glove. Just covering his <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't like that. I That's didn't like, love that. Well, I was like, naked? Right. He's a na- yeah, he's fully naked. He's butt naked yeah. with the, just the boxing glove That's covering like, his thing. Isn't that like a, bo- no, it's like a sports thing. They have, right? that, they have that issue in like, I think, Sports Illustrated sports where they Illustrated. do like some yeah. naked The naked shoot, athletes yeah. and they're just like posing and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty funny. It's funny. It's, but it's, funny. Like, it's just interesting. I didn't expect that. Would you guys do one of those shoots? Like a butt naked. Like I wouldn't be against it. If I, was like yeah, I know an, you I, wouldn't be. If I was an athlete, maybe, but like fuck. Yeah, but I mean, like, if you're getting paid to do something, like. No, that's what I mean. Like, like oh, yeah, money, money talks, man. Exactly. <laughs> money talks. Chip, don't act fucking. like you're not doing it. If you're no, no, paid I would. A I would do it. I'm saying nothing I'm, much is like, it, it, nothing's showing. Yeah, it's like wearing boxers almost. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's people in like, like the room that would really. Yeah, it's see. yeah like that's the so weird part oh, when you're in the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so. like, all right, Christian, come out now, and I'm like, I'm literally gonna be like a fucking <laughs> like a woodpecker, and all they're gonna need is like a fucking baby carrot over my thing. You know, I'm surprised that they don't have something like made like a sticker that like just cups it. You know maybe what I mean? They do. Yeah, maybe they do. Nah, probably not, man. I don't know. He's I'm just walking around the set, naked? walk around fucking naked. They like, might what do they be do able to edit it out too, though. Modeling shit. Nude modeling, nothing's over their thing. No, it's but just like, straight up live, like the people, what? The, the act, people actually fil- filming. Well, it's just, it was a picture though. I don't know if they got video of that, of the shots of him naked, but <laughs> they could like, with the technology, edit out the underwear maybe. That's like new, a nude underwear. Yeah, but yeah. there's tattoos and shit. That's yeah, true. Maybe. Yeah. I what do feel you like? I mean, just take the... Just oh, edit out that way. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just be naked. I mean, yeah, just be naked Funny, if you're comfortable with it. Take your like, pants off, Jay. They're, they're paying you money for it, so why not? Yeah, you think that guy cares? I no, think though yeah. those will be some really good series. I'm excited for like the Florida one because I think that's a very good story. And like you have Urban Meyer, one of the best coaches of all time in college football. That was Wait. one of the most talented rosters. And then you have Aaron Hernandez's story in that as well. Yeah. Didn't that's... you say a bunch of them were like bad guys? What? Like bad pe- people was, on that team? There was problems. Like I think Urban, I'm pretty sure he was known as like a guy who like he took people on who had problems. And like they won two national championships during his time span with, in Florida. So it's going to be a good story. This was back in what, like 2005? 2000, 2008. 2008. Was that with um, that quarterback? Tebow. Yeah, he was there. That was Tebow's. Yeah, that's, that was their time when they won the two championships. Yeah. yeah. yeah and Cam, Cam yeah. Newton was there too as well. They had the well. best team? 
They were, yeah. They like were of all time. They're, no, they're. I'd say the Miami Hurricanes. I think it was the O one team. They're fucking insane. Insane. <laughs> Back roster. when you, the U was the move, eh? The U was the move. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for these. I mean, I I like these docu series, and like even you know we're gonna move on to that, but like quarterback one with the NFL. Yeah. If it seems like, dude, F one, absolute huge fucking Bro, that's spike crazy in too. engagement because exactly. because of that show. Um, mm-hmm. What's it called? F what? What's the Netflix show for the F one? It's like Road. I can't. I never watched. It. I'm not Whatever sure. It is. Grand it's Prix, massive. Road to the Grand Prix, or something. No, it's like it's a drama based. I fuck, I don't even know what it's called. Anyways, okay. that one and then full swing as well. I was about to say for golf. For golf is like I feel like both of those increased like in viewership of in engagement of those sports dramatically. And like doing that for football with the quarterback one and then like I'm I don't doubt it's not gonna happen in uh the NBA and NHL. I fucking hope. Well, I NHL. doubt it. I actually doubt it's going to happen in the NHL. They, they better or else they're literally not going to have any viewers. You know what? Year. That's actually a good point that you make is because like it's almost like showcasing these sports at the roots of like not just the actual but sport. It, like why, everything It's also doing it. it in an entertaining way instead of just yes. showing the sport. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's like the whole creator movement, right? It's like why do we think creators is going to be like the move is because you can actually see like their story, their come up. Like yeah. You like that person. Right yeah. now, all you see with sports is like some interviews where you can see some parts of their exactly, character, yeah. but they're mainly dry. And all you see them is just playing the sport. If yeah. they're not a character on their own social media, it's like you know nothing about this person. You gain abs- like you gain like no attraction. The only reason you look up to them is because of how good they are at their sport. But like yeah. you don't look up because of like what they do off the like field. Mm-hmm. Really. You don't know like, them really. Not, yeah, you don't know them. And like this gives them like connection. Like I was talking to my cousin yesterday with the F1 series is like, Never watched F one. Watch that thing. Liked these certain characters. Didn't like these other like characters. And now they're watching like F one every weekend. That's wild. Yeah. I think it's wild, wild too, just because like that one is like an not an obsolete, but like no one really watched it. And now it's like from nothing and just it's like booming. I've seen a lot of people post about it recently, like on their stories, like oh the F one weekends and stuff. And like I'm like, I know I hear people F1, like one like it was never talked about growing up. I hear people kid. wanting to buy tickets. And I'm like, damn, now people are actually into this shit. Yeah, even like the Miami one was huge too. That sold well, and it was all over like TikTok and stuff like that. Like big, yeah. big creators. There's one in Montreal, dude. The one in Vegas is gonna be fucking insane. Apparently, oh, so my cousin can imagine, yeah. just went to Vegas, and he said two Uber drivers told them that apparently they're planning to build a track that goes around like a poker table. Like, yeah like, really like around in in a casino somehow like they're gonna cut out part of the casino Holy and it's gonna go it's gonna be like some movie type shit what yeah bro that amount of money like, there's do actually that? people there's actually gonna be people it's playing poker. go yeah it's gonna go no, it's around, like, like a through a casino set. yeah it's gonna make sense for safety know. reasons they'll probably block it off well oh. be, they'd have the yeah they'd have it all but still though the what? amount of money to open up a building to put a fucking track through that that's <laughs> it's gonna insane. be insane yeah or if they, they do something similar, like, with Monaco, actually. Really? That, like, not in terms of, like, they just, like, take the streets and they, like, they make their own track. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no act, set track, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're going, too, with the the Vegas Strip is going to be completely closed off for, like, yeah, straight so, like, away. This is, Yeah, that's smart. And then you can have crazy. people, like, on the bridges, like, looking over and watching it. Yeah. When is that it's supposed to be? Uh, I think it's November, October or something. They're going to get all that done in fucking less Dude, than six months? they'll get it done in, like, a month. Bro, for this, this for sport has so much money. If okay. yeah, you, you gotta you gotta drop Vegas down for six months to build this course. Yeah, that's you true. Just do it really. Fast. Also, the cas- whatever casino they're doing it at, like you gotta pay them a bag to to it, shut down like operation. certain, biz- yeah, certain business true. for that time. But it, it'll only be like a weekend. Yeah, it'll only be like because that's how it works. No construction though, as well. Yeah, but they'll like they probably won't want to. It'll probably be like a week. You know it'll what I mean? Like quick. to. To cut out a side of a building, like you need a, a <laughs> lot of guys. Like, it's oh, not an easy process. I don't know exactly if they're what going they're through doing, a building. Like that's that's what I'm saying. Like how long is this? It's got to be at least two. That's weeks. not a week. That's not a week. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're not fucking China being able to put up a hospital in a fucking month. <laughs> yeah, and this is different. No, but dude, take in Monaco is the most expensive city in the world. Yeah, and they shut down the streets for this F1. So take it. Take no, I'm not. The streets fine. I'm just saying, like a hotel though, like. You're now cutting it out. Yeah, you have yeah. to shut it down for that whole weekend now. Like, there's a lot of process that goes into that and logistics. Yeah, they got it under <laughs> control. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Vegas has got it, right? Vegas, yeah. Vegas has got money, it. Money talks, man. Exactly. Yeah, money but uh, Netflix also announced on top of these um, new Untold series, uh, 
with the NFL coming out with the trailer. Uh, what do I got here? Netflix released the first trailer of a new documentary called Quarterback, which is released really soon, July 12th. The documentary features behind-the-scenes look of the 2022 NFL season for three quarterbacks. Mahomes, maybe we get to see Jackson in that. That will be pretty sick. Kirk Cousins and Marcus Mariota. Toss that guy in there. Why not? Uh, the trailer In the trailer, all three quarterbacks appear to be mic'd up during games. We're also allowed to see their personal life, day-to-day lives. Overall, getting the POV of what it looks like being a top-tier NFL uh, quarterback. Yeah. And I think that's going to be so sick. Especially with like Mahomes, Mahomes I think the baby. Mahomes one. I like, the, how I like the route they went with it though. What in what way? They went superstar quarterback Mahomes. They went the average quarterback in Kirk Cousins. No, it's, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then That's they went. Totally they serious. went with like a journeyman quarterback there. So you see, like <laughs> the. It is true. Wait, who's the last no, guy? He's, he's, uh, yeah. Marcus Mariota. Yeah, it's true. And you see the three different perspectives of like quarterbacks in the, in the NFL and see what their life is like. Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, think that's, the better, yeah. uh, the best ones, Mahomes, because of how controversial his family is. Like you know what I mean? There's gonna I, uh, like Jackson's gonna be in it. His wife is going to be in it. Two of the most hated people. That's in the NFL. just like meant for TV. You know yeah, what I mean? It's like a reality show. Hundred percent. I'm <laughs> curious how her reaction is gonna be. Like if she's gonna get like more liked after this or more hated. Depends how they portray her. Because even right? in the trailer, there's there was quite a bit of her like actually talking to the camera like Damn. directly. A on lot. It a stuff. lot so, like, of her. Bro. You're gonna see her a lot. So like people the family, are gonna have a reaction. The to family's it. in it. It's like the family. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, We'll see with Jackson. I don't know because with like the whole legal stuff going on with him. And yeah, is he in jail avoid, or something? I I don't know if he's in jail or not. If he's charged or <laughs> not, but like they might want to avoid putting him in the series because of that issue. Oh, now Netflix. Yeah, when that came out, Netflix is probably like, "Yo, we're fought." Now we got to change storylines at a certain point. Potentially, yeah. I don't know. Damn. Oh, they have yeah. a new series that they can just get after this. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that could be the move. Yeah, bro. Yeah, they got. I mean. The hundred percent NBA and NHL are gonna follow, and hope I, MLB should follow too. I don't think the NHL will do this. I can see the MLB. Bro, and they'll the NBA be literally it. stupid if they don't. Yeah, bro. it's just like views. It's like they're just yeah. bringing in money. <laughs> they don't like that, man. Did what do you, you mean? Bro, don't like that. okay. There was a TikTok the other day. Kyle from Nelk was talking to Dana yeah, White. I, I sent this in the chat, and he was like, they spoke to the NHL, and they literally said, "If the Nelk boys have, any, we do not want anything to be a part of the Nelk boys." But it's different though, like that compared to like NHL guys just living their life. Yeah, because that's like a different kind of culture. Like now, these guys are like, I feel like the NHL is more trying to be pristine, like the way that they dress and stuff. And then you have the Nelk guys who are a little more out. Like outlandish and they swear they, they party exactly. like they but promote the, uh, yeah. gambling and stuff like that. Like I see why the NHL doesn't want to do it because yeah. they're they're a bunch of old heads yeah, exactly. who don't get it. I could say one thing: disagree. Barstool Sports has done work with the NBA and the Boston Celtics, having Portnoy come in and be like as he's a huge Celtics. A- NFL guy. doesn't do work with the with Barstool though. I would say. Yeah, yeah, that's also because the beef. Yeah. Like, that's also because Portnoy has yeah. gone on and said, I fucking hate that guy. He's a piece of shit. So, so that's different. Right? Like, yeah, Nelk Roger, has, Roger Nelk, Goodell. If anything, you look at Nelk and they've supported the NHL by making videos with Austin Matthews before, like yeah. showcasing they go to games. They're, they bring an audience. So if well, anything, I, 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 I agree with you. I think Nelk brings a very good market to I the agree. NHL you also and s- it would help them market it. But like, they're old heads. They need to like, I think they should hire Nelk instead of fucking Josh Richards. It's crazy. I think because that's a bad move, connection. That's a move. It's already been proved that it worked for like the UFC. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's already been exactly. It's showcasing and even look at golf. All the guys that are the thing in with the golf like world. These series though is F one did really well because of the drama. Full swing had some drama in there too, as well, and I, I'm assuming these brands just give Netflix like kind of full reins or like a, you can need to give them like a decent amount of like yeah. creative control. Cause they have mm-hmm. to make it entertaining mm-hmm. in a exactly. way that like it's going to appeal to people. Yeah. So the, they can't just, the NHL can't just be like, okay, follow McDavid at the game and like his training w- regimen. <laughs> and like people are, like are not going to fucking love that. They, I don't yeah. think they'd watch it. Man. They want to see the, what happened with that fucking video of McDavid holding that chick's hand. And then what happened when he went home that night? And then exaggerated the a little bit, you know. What I mean, that's always how it is. Yeah, it's so, always exaggerated. So you, yeah. Okay, but so that's you're basically explaining the point of why the NHL would never do it then, because they no, don't want to show this stuff. Yeah, I'm saying they need to do it. I think the NHL could do a hard knocks version of what the NFL does. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that or no, heard of it. You know that? what hard knocks is? No. So basically, every year the NFL does. Uh, it's by HBO. HBO hard knocks, and they follow a team and like they do their training camp stuff, and it's a lot of good shit comes out of it. I think they could do that route. Which is a little bit better helps like see like the sure. inside perspective. It's it's more brand friendly for the NHL. Like you're not gonna have like, yep. exposed shit come out really, but like it's a good way to like market the 
the mm. NHL as a whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. isn't the Leafs currently getting like followed by Amazon Prime or something? There was hmm. some blue documentary going on Amazon Prime. But Amazon's like, probably like, yo, like if these guys win a cup and then that would, if they won a cup, they would, that would be the best series of like all time. I'm pretty sure it's like the behind the scenes, like dressing rooms after, before games. Yeah, there so was like, stuff like they that. They have the shitty part, <laughs> but they just need that final. You need to win. They need the win to like, end it I off. think Amazon was like, okay, like this would be a great story. You know what I mean? That people would buy it. They, they paid the risk. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're taking. Is it still yeah. going on? Or? I don't know. They'll probably come out of like next year. <laughs> they have, they have yeah. connections. So now in the future, if the Leafs ever win. Amazon's also Maybe they just go back it. to it. Yeah. <laughs> Amazon's good with that shit. Yeah, they're starting to like really push like that edge of like where what HBO is doing, Netflix is yeah. with the original the originals, stuff. Originals, yeah. yeah, yeah. Even, I will Di- say, even though, Disney's like, doing so, a lot of original if stuff. If you ever as well. go on Prime Video, it's like so, so weird, like the originals the, that they have. I think the interface they have some good original ones, but like the interface, I think of it really hurts that app. Mm-hmm. So of 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 Prime Prime Video, they're because they mix in shows that like are free on the thing and then shows you can just like buy or rent and it's like uh, okay. fuck like, oh it's, yeah it's, that's it's true. annoying you find something you want something you want to watch and it's like i have to pay for it but you gotta yeah, pay no certain, certain certain stuff some is included with prime but then certain stuff is like you could search up anything and find anything but then it's like oh you gotta pay for it there's a certain uh, amount that's free yeah. basically whereas like yeah. netflix and all these other like everything is streaming free. platforms everything's, everything's just free so if you click on it it's like okay, i'm gonna be able to watch it because they also <laughs> have like big movies on there too yeah, that are oh, not, okay. I think, fully released. Yeah, anything you could rent or like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 Sick. I mean, yeah. In terms of like that NHL and NBA as well, it, it was clearly shown in the numbers of like viewership. I'd say. NHL, I think more. Yeah, NHL, I think is bad. I think out of the major, the four major leagues, I think NHL, from a marketing standpoint, has to do something. The NBA, you could say, was it the two teams? In the finals, that affected numbers, or what would you? What would your I think reason so. be? Why? I, think, I think I think it was the two teams combined with the fact that like one, it was like the Nuggets were going to win. Everyone kind of knew it was going to happen. Yeah, I can all. It's I, just like not a popular team. Like Jokic is not like. Don't get me. He's like a very good basketball player, but I don't think he has like a huge fan base. I think in Serbia he does. In Serbia, back home, but yeah. like in this market, I think he gets a lot of disrespect for being white. Really? And being really? like fat, yeah. a little chubbier. He, he should have been the MVP this year of the league, but people didn't want to give it to him because it would have been historic. Because he would have been the first player to ever win three MVPs back to back. Damn. Wait, what? They won it. Uh, Embiid. Yeah, Embiid. Embiid. Which was looking back, dude. What? Was he good? He was good, yeah. But he like, good. I think it was clear that like. Jokic Jokic was it's because also right. they don't take into account playoffs, right? They don't, no. So, but yeah, still, I, regular season. he was the best team in the West. Who won the playoffs MVP? Jokic? You won, yeah. He was the final MVP. Yeah, I do, yeah. Dropping 40 points like every other game. I could <laughs> also think, like, do you think we've had so many years straight of LeBron being in finals, or if it's not LeBron, Curry's yeah. there. Like, do you think because it's been like over a decade of the same names that since we didn't really have like that super, super star, like Jokic, yes, but on Miami, like. You have Butler. You had Butler, which I wouldn't Butler, even yeah. say. But people still hate on him. They yeah, I wouldn't say him. that he's in that tier. That's of, like, what I Curry think that like. LeBron. Th- yeah, you know. So would you it, say that aspect it adds too? To it. I think it? people got tired though of like the Curry and LeBron thing because like by the end of it, it was just like, all right, this is boring. Like the same thing every year, okay. same final. They also see no him intrigue. on the downhill now. Downhill, yeah. I just think it's just like a small market in Denver, who's the first time ever being in the finals. True. Match with their their superstar is a non American born player, so it 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 hurts it a bit. Yeah. And then Miami Heat, who are an eight seed, good story, but like they also have been like hurt. They they really probably shouldn't have been in the finals. So yeah, it was kind of like almost you you knew it was gonna happen when you saw those two teams going yeah. up against each other. Yeah. One v eight, same yeah. with NHL. One v eight. Yeah, and then it doesn't make friend of what game five. Both five, both five games. Nuggets also rolled the fucking playoffs. They went sixteen four. Jeez. So. Yeah, Damn. dude, they literally stomped over all their competition. Yeah. Wow. Wait, That's they wild. went game five every series. No, they I think sw- their they second swept one. The, they swept the uh, first series, mm-hmm. or no, they swept the the conference finals, and then I think one of them was uh, six Jesus. games. Second one, so, I think it was. Yeah. Shit. Wow. Well, I mean, fuck. Good for Denver. I called that shit from the start. Just did you? Throw that out there. Yeah. You did. Yeah, you didn't put heck, money yeah. down, though. No. <laughs> you didn't put money down. You should have. You would have won a yeah, shit but, ton. Yeah. No. How much? I mean, the they were definitely were top. No, three, dude, but you still would have won a good amount. Good amount. Yeah. I mean, they were what, number one in the West. Probably would have so. been like plus. M- minimum. Something. Yeah. It would have been plus 250. Yeah, dude. Minimum. You would have yeah, won at that point, time. Yeah. For sure. Probably. For sure. 
That's fucking lit. Well, Jokic <laughs> doesn't even like playing fucking basketball. Bro, the interviews <laughs> after. Interviews? Yeah, yeah, dude, this guy was like miserable. He's like, dude, I have to do a mer- uh, parade now. Bro <laughs> was dude, I pissed. I to go home, man. Bro, it's my family. Yeah, bro. Bro but does not like playing. It's kind of weird that his family wouldn't be here. Like they were. He's like, oh, they were. All his like his brothers. I think obviously maybe his like older like his parents mm-hmm. weren't here, but his brothers were here. And yeah, they've been every game. Yeah, even his wife and his kid too. But I think I think he just doesn't like. Straight up, That's I don't wh- think he likes being an NBA player. A lot of people, a, a lot of uh, basketball players have come out saying like half, maybe fifty percent of the league doesn't like to actually play ball. He literally said like, what? "Oh, like yeah. I just do this as like a job." Like you know how people nine don't to like, five. You know how people don't like their jobs and stuff. Like. That's what it applied. That's literally implied. what they said. Wow. And he, he's like, oh, I just want to get home for Sunday because I have horse racing on Sunday. Yeah, dude. Like, I watched a video. And he fucking, I saw a TikTok of him. I watched a video. <laughs> that guy loves horses, man. Yeah. He, he rides lo- them. Yeah. He's buggies. He so. loves his horses. I think they, like, you know, they got, like, a certain amount of money. Like, dude, this guy's, how much money do you think this guy's made so far? Jokic. Over, he's like. 100 million, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. Like, this guy is, like, set. He's got, he gets to do whatever he wants when he goes back home. You know what I mean? Enjoy the sh- the stuff that he probably couldn't have done when he was a younger. I also don't think I think he likes basketball. I just don't think he likes no. living in America. I agree with That's that. That's the big thing. I agree with that. Because a whole it's a whole different culture, like Serbia to America. <laughs> Bro. And like he's definitely like you gotta have somewhat of a love to make it to the NBA. Yeah, it could f- falter, but to be his level of player, you have to have love for the game. Bro, they yeah. asked, someone um they were doing like post uh inter uh interview and one of the guys asked him like who do you like better? J- Drake or J. Cole? And the guy's like I don't even listen to any of those guys. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, bro, no music. I don't know what he listens to. Bro is actually... Some, the Serbian music. Yeah. yeah. Bro so is like, actually an NPC. Like, that just is really good at basketball. He plays League of Legends, too, apparently. Yeah, bro. He's an <laughs> wow. NP. Like, that guy... I, I feel bad. I was watching the interviews, and I was like, yo, can we just get him home? Like, why does he need to do this parade? Why does he need do to do the parade? Did you guys see in the parade, though? And he's like... Oh, I'm I'm happy I'm here. I love the parade. Like, I, yeah. I didn't mean what I said. Basically, <laughs> yeah, when he was happy, he was drunk, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, yeah. I'm sure like PR was like, yo, like you gotta say something. You gotta say something. Oh, you think like it wasn't even he didn't want to say that. You think he was just being cool? It could have been. You never know. I but. get it, but like I think, like I don't feel sorry for him just because like look at the position they're in and what they get to do. Like he's gonna have like a whole off season now to do whatever he wants. Like you kind of know the risk and reward that you're going to be doing when you get into this career. Bro, I think I he's s- joking a bit too. He's known no. to... Yeah, there he's wasn't known a lot to, of I do, jokes. I, I, I think he yeah. exaggerates it maybe a little bit. Yeah, he's like... And that... What's it like? Eastern Europe? I'd say they're like... That's kind of like their personality. Where the, it's like... They're joking kind of when yeah, they talk? Yeah, it's like sarca- sarcastic kind of like, oh, I, I have to go to the parade. Yeah, like, that's what it sounded like. home. Like... But it's like it's not that big. Like he's not really pissed. About That's probably it. how he okay, felt. But like yeah, he just yeah. like over exaggerated when he said it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I, I could, could see that. that maybe a bit. Yeah. Yeah, but the nine to five line is like no one likes their job. Like he's basically saying he doesn't love to play basketball. That once again could be just a fucking like a joke. Just to as maybe well. just. But if you like look at his face, like whenever you see him, it's always like a straight face. Straight face. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the way they fucking are though. Dude. <laughs> yeah, they like, are. Like, it looks like he's miser- It looks like he's miserable when he's like. Yeah. Anytime in a They're pretty, well, in it's a hard. Uniform. It's a hardcore place to live and grow up. So yeah, I guess it's a that's whole true. different like atmosphere than like America and Canada. Yeah, yeah. he also doesn't sh- like sometimes joke just like straight face, and you don't even know if they're joking or not. Yeah, this is. Oh yeah, one comment he was like, "Now nah, you're supposed to laugh." Like I think he like <laughs> told the audience or like reporters like laugh. Like and I was like, "Ha, okay, good one." You're good job. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He like I think he doesn't like love it. One of one of the top comment on the video, the TikTok I saw was like. Jokic's the kind of guy to like win MVP, like get the first chip for Denver, and then next year like purposely lose in the first round so he doesn't have to play till middle of June. Dude, I saw it so many times that he's gonna lose purposely in June, just like or in the uh, the first to round. To go hang with his horses, so he doesn't have to play till June. Yeah, to fucking be with his horses, man. Because he was like, oh, this guy's miserable right now. Dude, yeah, I don't like. And every interview, he's like, what do you want to do? He's like, I want to go home. Okay, yeah. so someone get him home. Just get, get him, a fucking get play. him get his him. fucking horses. Get man. him his horse. Can we get him? Can we bring the well, horse here. Also, actually. like for him, he's like the leader of Denver. And he's got to be that guy, you know what I mean? Everyone yeah. that they always look up to. That's true. So, well, I think he shows it on the court. Though. What do you mean? Like he's the kind of guy that'll just like show it through his actions. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely definitely led the team. There. I don't know who I saw, but I saw a podcast. Might have been Draymond Green. Does he have a podcast? He does. Yeah. Draymond. I think it was Draymond Green analyzing why he thinks, you know, or at least what point he realized that the Nuggets were going to win the. I think the, I told you this. Did you also see the same one? But I explained this exact the clip you, to you. Maybe you describe it then. Did you? Yeah, maybe you take it on then. Yeah, so basically he said like <laughs> Draymond was just going on about how um, the point when 
he knew that Denver was going to win yeah, um, right. or just like is a perfect example of the reason why they won um, or why they're going to win is because um, Jamal, what's fuck Jamal, right? Murray? Jamal Murray, yeah, they were, it was like my game against Miami, it was in the finals and Murray just like pulled up for a pretty, pretty bad three, but Jokic was wide open um, and he could have passed it to him, didn't, shot, missed. And instead of like Jokic, you know, just standing there with his hands up, showcasing how like, yo, dude, you didn't pass this meal. Yeah, like irritated open, or whatever. Like a lot of other guys have done or like throwing his hands up and like bad body language. He straight up looked at the ball, missed. It was like <laughs> clapped, went to the bench. Like no bad, bad body language, like nothing bad said to Jamal Murray. Like just basically showing that like this guy is the fucking pure like team player. Mm-hmm. And that's the reason why they, they're going to win and they did win makes yeah. sense i think that's partly why of, of um why because of where he comes from you know what yeah. i mean it's Just like the way they're the european way yeah, yeah. it's Team definitely first. Like unselfish basketball a lot of like these europeans come over and say it's easier to play basketball in the states than it is back home why because it's it's different rules and it, there's no like um you can stand in the paint in in europe and just like fucking have a big guy there and block and so there's shit. no charging so, you can't yeah. take a charge you can't take a charge stuff like that so it's like harder to score in the paint so it's easier to score in America and there's also like they don't call as much in Europe so you get a lot more fouls oh, you get a lot, here okay so you get to line more yeah but the refs are like yeah they've the refs have like changed over the years here they call like a tap now yeah, you know I mean? it's, like you it's can just, they're trying to promote that offensive like, And you can like style. just jump and then like go into the player and get a foul yeah mm-hmm. that rule is pretty dumb yeah. yeah I think they took that away though did they yeah that never made sense to me, to be honest. How you can physically go into a person and get the foul called. Yeah, no, but just like yeah, I still don't get basketball rules, dude. It's I for think I'm I, it's just marketing purposes, though. <laughs> no, like, you definitely are fouling all the time. Fouling all the time. <laughs> in in the NBA, you'd be fucking out in the first like. Five LT, minutes. I'm fouling. I think everyone, but like I like yeah, like it's different though. Street ball. And, yeah, uh, exactly. Like yo, if you're trying to like run up, like I could see like an actual baller fucking hate to play against you because they're like, yo, dude, you're fouling me. You're fouling me, bro. Oh, it's funny. Chip hates to play basketball. Try rushing on someone else, man. <laughs> Dude, what's it called? Uh, when you made that first call when we did like all our predictions, I honestly, you, you picked the Nuggets, and I'm like, Dude, these guys are not gonna win. Cause like, not being in like tune with basketball, like you don't hear about the Nuggets, right? Like they've not been a name. And then next thing you know, they 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 sweep the first team, kill the second league, and I was like, maybe they, these guys might have it. I watched one game and they killed it. Like just good basketball. Denver yeah, Nuggets, Jokic man. Jokic is a fucking guy. Denver the fucking Nuggets. <laughs> that was my only reason for going with the Nuggets, man. Pretty I just watched one game right? that year. Pretty solid. Yeah. You want to just solid. skip over KSI and fucking Dusty Misfits and their Survivor Tag Team Boxing? Or you want to talk about that? Uh, We don't have to. That was more so just <laughs> for KSI being good. Like, boxing. Did you guys see Conor no. McGregor, though? We don't got it. For we rape? Yeah, it. man. That's fucked. Wait, what? Remember there's that a rape allegation the against night, him? The night that he punched the uh, mascot, there's a rape allegation against them that night. At the... Ba- is it a basketball game? Is that the basketball legit? game? A le- yeah, yeah, yeah. A legit rape. Like, yeah. But there's a what? video I saw today that uh, that came out. Apparently, like, he was this. with her 30 minutes after. Bro, like, at another club. Was it a cl- It looked like it was like... I just thought I saw in the caption, but I don't I didn't, know. Doesn't yeah. he have a wife? He does. Yeah, he does, he does dude. Does, yeah. The comments were like, dude, they have an agreement where you do that. As long as you don't come smelling like her, coming home smelling like her, then you're chill. Really? <laughs> no, it's a joke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. That'd be no. wild. <laughs> dude, I don't know. Like, That's a fucking good agreement, does. man. Wow. They're like long time <laughs> sweethearts. I know, though. I know, I know. But she like, like came up with him. Clearly, the, I mean, there could have been a thing if she, this guy's just They like, have an agreement, don't come home girls. smelling like the other girls. I've heard fucking a lot, like, not smelling, but I've heard, like, if I don't know about it, I don't care about it. Out of sight, out of mind kind yeah. of thing? Yeah. It's Mac. Yeah. Right? It's a Mac kind of thing. No, fuck, man, not for that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's different, bro. <laughs> Talking about like body Shit. count, man. Not fucking oh. her cheating on me out of sight, out of mind. I don't just want to hear about it. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck. that's a Matt kind of thing you said. <laughs> fucking stuff, man. All right, guys, we're gonna fan head questions. on over to fan questions. If you guys are watching on the YouTube Squad Bunch podcast, make sure to comment, like, subscribe if you have not yet. Um, I'm gonna be honest, guys. We answer every single question that you guys do comment on the YouTube video. So if you guys have any personal questions or just curious questions that you guys want to ask us, fire the fuck away. We only got one left from last week's video, so. I'm going to need some more next week, but this one's from Jan Ayala, 8795. That's definitely not how you say it. Uh, what is the seen this w- guy before. Seen this. Yeah. You seen this, this Instagram, this, his Insta YouTube. Jan Ayala? He's always here. Yeah. Jan Ayala is always here. Big shout out. Big yeah. shout out. We'll call him J.A. 
Big shout out, Ja. What is worse, still being friends with the girl that rejected you or triple texting a girl and no reply back? I think I think we can all agree. Oh, it's got to be the so first easy. one. The all first right. one is way yeah. Still being friends with the that's girl like, that rejected you. That's like yeah. a slap. That's like such a pussy move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to see yeah. her every single day, bro. It's so just weird. It's like you can't get over it, so you just like okay, fine. I'll take being friends. <laughs> but what if there is a potential of you know? Nah, getting see, past, that's like pushing past that fucking friend zone. Okay, if it happens, then you're good. But if it doesn't happen, then you're fucked. Like yeah, you know what I mean? Like then you wasted like your right time you. and your yeah. effort and everything. It would just suck. Whereas a triple the text, and, just like and it's on. just the mentality of staying with her after she rejected you. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, you think that's beta stuff? Did she really reject you though? If you get her back, if you get her, no. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, if you get her back, then it's okay. But yeah, if you but don't, then even you're that like, process, you're that guy. Yeah, but there's got to be a process of working towards it. Is what he's saying. So you're not with her still. Like you're still friends with a girl that rejected you, but you're trying to get her still. I'm. I'm not doing this. You're not trying. You're not trying. I'm not like, being friends with her. I'm saying. Yeah. Once you get a first no, once you get a first rejection, you're done. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Like you're not gonna try to go for the girl. Yeah. Fuck. I might. You would change. Maybe actually. I feel like you love it's that shit though, worse. man. You're like, do you want that? Like, oh my god, you rejected me. I want her even more now. Yeah, that's I love your that mindset, shit, man. Dude. Yeah, because it's a fucking like a challenge, you know. I want to win that challenge. Yeah, but how weird is it if like you're friends for like five years and like you're still trying to go for five years later? That's like, see, that's fucking. Because you're like, you don't want to be that oh, guy. <laughs> I want to. I want to conquer her. <laughs> you <laughs> conquer. Her. That's your fucking mindset. Guys doing bro. side quests with girls that rejected him. You're the type to like finally get her after like five years and then break up because like. Yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. Put her through all the misery she put me through. Take her and on then, one okay. date. And then now you're like, damn. You know what? You can't be with me. Fuck yeah, baby. <laughs> That's kind of fucked. <laughs> no, you okay. wouldn't actually do that. No. Okay. You would like actually be with the girl. Nah, that w- you, you tried for be. five years and then just dumb try be like, fuck you, what are you doing? Man? That's the most toxic <laughs> thing ever. You've got to be mental in the head like, yeah. to do that. To mental. waste five years of your life bro. just for a fucking bro, get back. Bro, what a slap in the face with a chick though. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck that chick. <laughs> and this girl's like, the hell's wrong with this dude, okay? Holy I'll just shit. move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jan. No, she'll be heartbroken. Maybe. All right, Josh. So overall... I mean, if you really want to be fucked in the head, I would say, like, keep trying Wait, until you get her and then fuck her off. Oh. Um, but the triple text, like, Chanchi does that every weekend, so I wouldn't say that's too, too bad. The triple text, like, Dude, I've done that, I've done yeah, that drunk. Yeah. yeah, I've done that oh, drunk to so yeah. many. I've done that <laughs> the drunk, drunk text. Do you know what's getting even worse? The fucking FaceTime audio calls now. Yeah, or like dude, voice uh, voice recording. mails. Voice mails. Wait, you can you face mail. Face mails. Face mails. You can leave a face mail. The Soon, newest yeah. iOS update Wait, this fall. So you, you can leave that? face mails. Oh my okay. god. The drunk <laughs> face mails that are gonna be sent from this couch. I'm praying that you said. God, I don't do that, man. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, that's like tough. Like you're just, like Buddy, evidence hammered. of you like physical. Evidence that's of you be nah. like, yo, <laughs> yo not doing that's that. so. I'm 100 percent gonna have some face. Oh, 100 percent, bro. bro next to you, just gotta make sure you send gonna, them to gonna, girls that you like trust. Trust, kinda. yeah, trust. that aren't gonna just like. Post I mean, when, them. yeah, let's hope straight not. up. But bro. that's the whole point straight of like a, a drunk, like triple message. Like you, you, you're not thinking when you do it. Yeah, but a message is so a much message? different than how long you could. Oh go yeah, I would not do that. Bro, if you're just on that, just saying some dumb shit, man. Just back at the crib. I will really like. I got this extra pillow beside me here. Change, don't lie. You you think you're gonna at least drop a couple of those? Yeah, I, yeah. I said I will. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm definitely. Chip, you too. I just hope the. Girls I just hope I I'm like filming you, dumb. maybe. Like Fuck. I just like I'm facing. Wait, what? I'm like, yo, my boy. I'm gonna step. do one. I'm not gonna f- get you to film it. <laughs> no, no, no. Like I'm gonna. Like, I'll like just film you. <laughs> That's fucking. You're gonna send me to the girl that you want to talk to. <laughs> yo, my boy Steph wants you here. I don't know why. He just keeps <laughs> saying he's been thinking about you and shit. So if she says no, it's not on me. It's on you. You know what I mean? I mean, if she comes, she's. She's coming for me though, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I just, then I just fucking, That's true, yeah. Then I just did a good guy move. Then is that not the wingman of the year right oh, there? Yeah, so any number you get, you're just going to give it to stuff. If that, that ever happens, you're the guy. That's what I'm saying, bro. I, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, maybe not the move. Uh, anyways, thank you for the fan question. Jan Ayala. I appreciate it, brother. Anyone that wants their questions answered, fire away. Comment on the YouTube video. You got to comment on the motherfucking YouTube video. Squad Brunch Podcast. We're going to go into debate time now. Going to start a segment. Would you do it for a million dollars segment, okay? Would you do it for a million dollars? We're going to start with Mac. Go around. Just got to find the list first. <laughs> Realize it was a notion. Did anyone see any of these, by the way? No. No, right, no I did that. All right. This is the first one. Would you do it for a million dollars? 
Spend a year without any use of technology. For a million dollars, no technology. I would. <laughs> I would do it because a million dollars is a lot of money. And I can just spend that whole year just grinding on myself, working on myself. And then I'll come back that whole that whole next year and just be fucking so much so many ideas so many things to do oh you're just like that you just kind of know like you're you just take, you're going for ghost a for a year yeah you're just building for a year like you were off the face of the planet and you're, for a you year. still have a million dollars in your pocket so so you're a million dollars richer a bunch of new ideas yeah and you're gonna fucking come back attacking attacking yeah could be the move all right chance what about you 100 percent. you're doing it yeah 100 percent. why for that exact reason you could straight up like just work for a year like plan your entire next year and yeah, no, no, no distractions at all though. Though. Like you understand like we're not you don't have your laptop you could read books so you're just gonna read for an entire year reading's probably the best way to work do it out, anyway yeah read, work out read work out read eat maybe like write yeah write you're gonna become an author well, no you, you just, write, just down write down, down your okay plan, write down you all the transfer ideas it all to technology in like january 1st of the next year you could Psst. network still <coughs> networking's a thing to people you just would have to like draw a dog it. Like you're not meeting at coffee shops. You're just showing up at the coffee shop and being like, hi, this is my name. This is what I do. Yeah. Okay. The thing, yeah. I'm assuming you have access to a car though still, right? Like, yeah, that's not technology. Yeah, it is. It is technology, but. Okay, then you're yeah, going to have to bike. bike. You're going to have to bike everywhere. What about like go train? Yeah, that's tech. That's technology. It depends what you consider technology. That's, that's cool. No, it's cool. If it's cool. That's not cool. That's technology. It's not cool. It's from the old school trains, man. It's yeah, not cool. That's not, not technology. Not I would say you're biking. So now, so now that's another thing. You're biking. Everywhere. Yeah, I'll fucking bike. Okay, so you're biking everywhere. You're going to become an author. I'm you're going to become an okay, author. You're I'm writing, gonna, reading. I'm going to plan my 2024 okay. for a million dollars, basically. Like that's, that's what you're asking me to do. It's a good trade-off. Like, Okay, Steph, what about you? I'm doing it as well. Why is that? I feel like... I'm saying yes now, but it, it, it'll be hard, much harder than it is when starting it just because, like, no texting. You can't even, like, communicate with your boys. But I think it's, like, you know how people take a break from social media? Yeah. And they like, say, like, you get better, like, Like healthier. a cleanse? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just take it like that. You're going to cleanse it. Yeah, exactly. That means no Twitch for a year, though, Steph. <laughs> it's light work, dude. <laughs> That's light work? <laughs> okay. No watching soccer. I don't even watch that much soccer. Okay. 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 <laughs> What if you came A million back? dollars though, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like one year? Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, it's that's... tough. As, it's going to be like t so tough. It's not. It's going to be easy, I think. No, bro. You, it, it's going to be tough, but like it's definitely not going to be super, Bro, super your tough. life revolves around using Wi-Fi. Yeah, but like I could do a year without. For a million dollars? Like it's a million dollars. Yeah, bro. I'll, like, I'll fucking grind that. Definitely out. harder. That's not going to be. He is right. You lose every. How often are you checking your phone? How Everything we do is on our phone. Yeah, because I need to be on my phone. Yeah. But Imagine like if I like, need to be and I'm making a mail, like I could fucking break this thing right now. It's true. Yeah, I, mean, like I guess there's the incentive there is like you just got to think about it. It's a yearly salary of a million dollars. I guess that you just have to re re rewire your brain. I'm, your entire, I'm basically saying is like that million dollars is worth more than like the time. I don't even know. Like when you're, you could still do you could still like learn and all that yeah, shit you can during that year. Just yeah. with that mm. base, it's basically Wi-Fi is like the big thing. Yeah. You, know what I mean? you oh, gain so it. much more time though too because there's no more distractions. Like you're not going to be watching movies. You're not going to be on your phone for seven plus hours a day. Maybe like your laptop, like just you and your mind and you can focus, you can read, learn. Yeah. The toughest thing I'd say is just like the advancement in the year. It's like you will be fucking out of the loop of like all like the AI. Yeah. You might be shit. dust. Yeah. Like, so you might the way that technology like, is moving. Yeah, you might your be ideas fucked. might be like, you might've planned for 2024. You come in and you're like, yeah, fuck. Like there none was, of this is going to work. It could be a bust straight up. It could be like, this doesn't even make sense anymore. There was three apps that built that solve all this. Yeah. Could but I also like, I think there's a way of like, there's a lot of stuff that won't change. Okay. Like stock. I think most like, people are saying yes. Like you could learn the stock. At least initially. Yeah. Cool. Come back, have a million dollars to invest. Smart. Real estate as well. Like how certain things work. True. Okay. Okay. Overall, three, three across the board. I'm excited yeah. for this next one. Give a guy a head. <laughs> for a million dollars. One million. I'm talking like briefcase in front of me, cash, and it's right in front of you. And what do you, what? Like, does he have to like finish in like, <laughs> yeah, give us the details, man. You want to know the details, don't you, Change? Like, it's a whole different <laughs> okay. thing. Okay, it's going to be... It, <laughs> yeah. We'll cap it at 10 minutes if he hasn't came yet. 
But you've got to be sucking. Nah, no, dude, you gotta. So if you can do it in faster, if you can do it in faster, good. If you can yeah, do it, in two, I'm doing it, man. Dan's like, I'll get him off in one minute. Ah, uh, dude. <laughs> so you're doing it. Like, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> For a million dollars right now, like one million dollars. I think if it was like presented in a briefcase in front of me, I think I'd have to say like, yes, man. That's a lot of money. It's a lot dude. of money. That's tough. Is it like not filmed? It's like nothing. No, no but like people know about it, right? Like people. Like, oh, people no, know no, it. no, no. Like it's like that oh, guy no can knows? go. Well, that guy can go off and do what he wants, but they can know. I, I'm not gonna. Like, know. That he makes a tell, big difference if people. You can know say about like it. this guy sucks my cock, but like there's no proof. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This guy started. To yeah, dude, I'm 100 percent doing there's, it. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, there's no film. There's no proof. Like 100%. he can he can go to the grave being like, no, guys, like this guy sucked my dick. I just had to give him a million dollars. Like I don't know who you are, man. Picture it happened, bud. Yeah. Like, it, like you don't know, buddy. Like yo, you wish, you but wish but like you know, Steph. You're the thing. Like you did it. You physically have to like put it in your mouth and suck it. I get it, bro. Okay, I'm just. <laughs> like, you know, you're the only one that has an answer, man. I'm trying to help. Hey. <laughs> you're thinking about, like, bro. That's the like that's of the dick and shit. No, bro. I'm thinking no, about how I'm gonna be scarred fuck. after. You think you're gonna be scarred from it? Yeah. Like, wipe your tears with the fucking hundo dollar bills that you're gonna have. If no one knows about it, I'll do it. There we go. <laughs> you look at that smile on your face. You're so you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For a million dollars. Wait, would you? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Buddy, are you that's a, lot of, that's a lot of money, dude. Ten minutes tops? <laughs> ten minutes? Buddy, my hourly rate is six million at the rate we're going right now. It's a good rate. Are you right kidding there. me? Buddy. You, Wait, you do it. How many times would you do it? No, I'm saying if you put it in perspective. <laughs> That's an hourly rate of $6 million. I'd do it like 10 times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, dude. Can never have to worry about money again, man. No, that's 10 million, bro, dude. straight up. 10 million. I'm, nah, 10 million is the magic number because you could put it in like literally a 1% fucking savings account and make 100K a year. That's Pretty good. Tr- that is true, yeah. Take but care. knowing you, you're going to get to and 10 million. 1% mil, is low. Knowing you, you're going to get to 10 million and just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, once you've done 10, why not do 20? Right? It's like, yo, business is booming, man. <laughs> that's, that's your job now. Just... Chance makes a fucking be, billion dollars a year. This just, guy's going to be running a new business called CB. Chanchi blows. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's gay. Yeah, yeah. It's not gay for right. major, I guess. All right, yeah, fair. All right. I mean, it still is. Would you do it for a million? <laughs> Steph, fuck you. Would you do it for a million dollars? Cheat on your girlfriend. Mm. There's different factors now with this. Like, yep. is this gonna be my wife? Like, is it just like a girl that I don't see any future well, with? You're dating her. I think it depends think on how you're gonna marry her. It hasn't been a long Whoa, relationship. It hasn't it been worse. short. What okay, if I just started dating? Uh, it's this like, chick? but you date to marry, you know? Like, yeah, you do. But like, if it's like a couple of months in, and I'm getting paid, like if like, you're on the verge, you don't of know a couple her, months in. All right, no. you've been dating for two. a year and a little over a year, and you see like a future. with Yes, them. and they, there's a reason you're not broken up yet. Everything's okay. good. You've been I dating would, for a minimum year. I would not do it for a million dollars. Do you think a valuable relationship is worth more than money? Okay, good answer, Change? Yeah, I wouldn't do it for a million either. Why? It's not worth it. What's not worth it? I don't know. It's just like, I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be that guy. If she's actually like, I think she's going to be my wife. Like, I would be, I would regret it probably if I broke up in the future. But I would also just be like, if I, if you know, I we, didn't break up in the future and like, that's my wife, like, that's worth way more. That There would Fair. always be that, what if? <laughs> You know what I mean? If you broke up. If you broke up, then I would be like, fuck. Like, if she cheated on me, then I'd be like, extra fuck. I'd be like, damn, like, I got a million. But Yeah, that would suck. But, like, again, now that's an assumption. Morals, you're assuming you that's going to happen. Morals. Yeah, exactly. At the end of the day, you didn't you do it. You take that million, like, I feel like. Scum guy. No, like, your future relationships, like, karma and shit. You're, you're getting you're good you're gonna juju. You're get so fucked. That's true. I didn't think like, about you're that. You're never going to find someone after that. You're going to get cheated on probably your next two relationships if that doesn't oh, work yeah. out. I don't think you ever find someone. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Fair. Steph, what about you? Just say you're going to take it. And it's okay <laughs> I it, to say I said yes. It, I think it depends. Okay. If it's a girl that like you believe. Don't give me this bullshit. But listen. Don't give me this listen, bullshit stuff. But if there's like first couple of months, yes, you date to marry, but you're not like the first couple of months is like you're still not like. Oh, you said a year and a half though. Oh, no, a little over a year. And everything's going well. But it could have, you could break up. I'm not saying everything's perfect. I'm saying you, but it's been, it's been, you've been in a good relationship for a year. Okay. I'm not saying you're dating gonna marry this chick. No one's saying that. You've been dating her for a year. Honeymoon stage, though. That's not a good time to like. That's a good time to break up, no? Yeah. No, that's like, out of that, the honeymoon yeah, stage. Yeah, but like though. that's like honeymoon the first stage year. means like, Isn't it like six months. First year, I'd say uh-huh. it's pretty. Cool. Honeymoon yeah, stage year. is like not actual true love, though, isn't it? Like you're not. Yeah. 
actually loving well, no, you. You're just like in that first, stage where you think first, you like. It's the first of everything. It's your first Christmas. It's your first Thanksgiving. It's your first. You do the first. Okay. I wouldn't do it. You would not do it. I wouldn't take the money. Okay. Why? If this is the girl of my dreams or whatever, this is like the I girl that I want to be. I haven't said that. I, I have said, I have said, <laughs> you've been dating her for a year and everything's good. I'm not saying you're going, I'm not saying the perfect girl is in front of you, Steph. I'm saying you've well, been dating her for a year. that would be my wife, right? The perfect girl. That is his perfect girl. That's what I mean. Someone that dates him for more than a year? How does that make a fucking perfect girl? That doesn't what? mean no. a what do you mean? In my like, mind, in like, this mind. girl's meant for me. Yeah. I'm saying. If you're dating at the her, current, I hope at, it's at the like current time, yes, yes. If I believe that, then I would not take the money. Okay, no all down. All right. Are you cheated? No, I wouldn't. I, I I've also been on the other end of that, so like I wouldn't. Yeah, you know, I'm you know the pain. That. I'm not doing that for cash. Out. That's a scum move. That's a scum way to make money. Have you guys been like in love? Love, not just said it. I think so. Yeah, I think. So I too. think so too. Yeah. I, think so too. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, so yes, well, we yeah, it's a, yeah, but it's just like tough. Like it's loved yeah. again, so I don't know. Like the mm-hmm. yeah, you don't know, yeah, maybe you don't know what love is. <laughs> fair. Yeah, maybe I don't know what love is. Yeah. That was also like six years fair. ago too. So like, it's wait, a long Chip, time. what about you? I think so. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> oh fuck! I'm not oh, putting yo! that in. I'm not putting that in. I'm not putting that in. Name drop. I'm not putting that in. We gotta cut that out. We gotta cut that out. Yo, can we cut that out? Yo, just bleep it out. No, can we cut that out? Yeah. Like, cause like one of the, I don't think I did with the other, you know, really? no, that's fair. I just, <laughs> I think looking back on it, <laughs> fuck, that, should, should we just continue that went this south? Like, yeah. Yeah. We're not going to, yeah, yeah. If we're kind of no, there's no point. Yeah. Sorry. Can we bleep that out? That's awkward as fuck. My bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you wanted to say the name, man. Well, no, I wanted well, to say wanted which to one. to make sure that it's not the other one. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. That's the yeah. Cause he's had the multiple relationships. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyways. Yeah. There's my answer. Um, okay. Would you do it for a million dollars? Never listen to your favorite artist again. Honestly, I would take the million dollars. Okay, why? I think there's so many good artists out there that I could have, I could just go with like not listening to that one person ever again for a million dollars. That's a decent trade off. Strong, I, I agree. I'm doing the same thing. Like I love, like I'd say Morgan Wallen's probably my favorite artist right now. Okay. Wow. I could do without listening to him ever again for that money. So much other music. Yeah. So much other music. There's gonna be another country singer. Yeah. Like there's Luke, gonna Luke be another- Combs is very similar to him. So. There you go. I'm also doing the exact same thing. Chance, I knew this was going to be tough on you. Juice World. No Juice World for a million dollars. That's I tough. I don't think I can. That's actually a what? better trade-off because he's dead, so he's not going to keep releasing music. So you only have like a certain amount of music right I now. I know, but I fucking love Juice World. Did you Best only listen to a man You listen to him when you do work, when you jerk off, when you make love. Not jerk off. Wait, what? Club. That would be weird. But yeah, dude, like in the car by myself, like because when you're in the car, you fucking hate it. But I when I'm by myself, I vibe out. Bro, but think about this. There's a million like, dollars, bro. Maybe like five years down the lane where, where you're going to probably stop listening to Juice World. I don't think I ever will. I think you will. No. Just because like... Dude, I started listening I, to I agree. Like He's like really university. good. Really good. But like, it's just going to be like music from so long I, ago. You, you get tired listen. of songs though. Like, yeah, I don't, dude. I listen to his shit over and over again. Like I will just press like... You know when you go to the artist, you just press play. I don't have to choose How much songs. does that mean like, to you? More lot, than a million man. dollars. I th- I don't think I would take it. Damn, dude. He's like what? Like I literally don't listen to anyone else. Like really. Like there'll be a, you know a couple songs here and there. Like working out's a different story. But like if I'm in the car, I just like press play. If I'm doing work, I just like press play on Juice World and I just dial in. I don't know why, but so Juice World is worth over a million dollars to you. Yeah, I think. Okay, I think so. Okay, what about you, Steph? Damn. Um, I'd probably do it. Yeah. So no more Drakey. Yeah. No more Drakey Drake. Like, it's no like more Daddy Max, Drake. Dude, no more Big Dick Daddy God. Drake down your call. <laughs> <laughs> no more OVO. You can't wear OVO either. That's not the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not You also that can bad, never visit Toronto because he's from there. Anyway. Bro, you guys are just making... <laughs> you can never <laughs> fly on a plane again because he owns a plane. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. I no, mean, I, I think it's similar to what Max said. Like, I listen to so many other people anyways. No. Like, right now, I haven't been listening to Drake that much either. Because he's not that good. No. Okay. He hasn't released Is he your favorite artist, though, you'd say? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. All right. What'd you do for a million dollars? Your favorite sports team would never win a championship. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's easy for Mac because he doesn't have a favorite. He'll just I, pick a new one. Yeah, he'll just pick the next one. Best team, bro. I, no, Mac, man. aren't you a Denver? That's not how I yeah. fucking do don't it. Don't you have man. a Jokic jersey now? No, I don't. <laughs> bro. I don't know why you're saying because you're a fucking floater too. I'm a... 
I'm a play. I would definitely. Sport. I'm a floater for one sport that does not have. I a would value, definitely do a it. Valid Canadian team. I would definitely do it for a million dollars because I'm not a team person. I'm a player person. I will not root for a team unless I like players on that team. Okay. So I, you like, will root. Can for I reword it? Because that's not fair. Then can what? I reword it? Because you don't have a favorite team. So can I reword it? Yeah. Your favorite player would never win a championship. Favorite player, favorite changes player changes, bro. My favorite, no, my favorite player. <laughs> no, like that's what I mean. Your current, whoever you cheer for. Let's say one year it's fucking Giannis. He's never gonna win. Basically, the when team he's that done his career. Your in the favorite moment, player. Yes. In the moment, the team that you're rooting no, for never wins. Never wins. I can. And you're a big I, championship guy. Keep that in mind. I can accept that for a million dollars. Like I like sports, but like I also like money too. And I think <laughs> I'd rather va- I'd value that million dollars more than I'd value that team winning a championship. Good answer. Change what about you? Yeah, definitely in the middle. Hundo percent. Hundo like, percent. Yep. The Leafs aren't going to win anyway. <laughs> exactly. That's my mindset. They're not going to win, so I might as well get a bag Facts, out of it. Yeah. What I'm, about you, stuff? That's easy money. I'm taking the money all day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Real Madrid's already won enough Champions League, so they've gotten yep. the one like the most in the world. So, okay. so you're, they don't you're need you're to happy. win anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've already done enough winning in your life. Exactly. Okay. So I used used a term there to describe Mac. So I guess you two are floaters. No, no, that no. That's, that's not how it works. He so just mine doesn't. Change. He just likes to think I'm like, dude. When mine doesn't change. When does mine change that you much? You used to like Giannis. Now you like. I like. like I you, like Giannis, bro. <laughs> like what the fuck? Then you like Luka Doncic. Now you like Jokic. I'm sorry. I don't like Luka <laughs> Jokic. <laughs> I like Luca because he's a good. He's representing the white community good in basketball. That's yo. <laughs> what's like, bad about that, like man? It's nice to see like a white Jokic. guy playing good in basketball. Like that's cool to see. Similar to Jokic, we don't have many great white guys out here playing ball. <laughs> I'm not a bad enough. enough. How am I a bandwagon? No, no, no you're no, just no, ripping no, me sorry. for being. Sorry, white. sorry. The word you used was floater. I didn't call no, you a bandwagon. Did. He called me a floater. Yes, that's the word you used. Yeah. Is that is that what it's called? I don't know. It's, oh, he's kind of made up a around with like his yeah, player. Yeah. That's like yeah. he does with Ronaldo. So you're a floater. That's, that's not floating. I've been a fan of his since like the okay, beginning. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I like that term though. Floater should be used. Floater as a is term a good to, word. Like, that's yeah, just not when you're yeah. talking to me. No, you're but that's floater. that's floating. How you float around with your player? If Cristiano Ronaldo do, that was is a cloud, if Cristiano Ronaldo was a cloud, you're floating with that cloud. Yeah, you're literally floating with him. Yeah. Fuck. I guess I'm floating, man. <laughs> all right okay that was a good one all right Whew. what'd you do for a million dollars spend a year in jail this is i think yeah no maybe not i was gonna say this is similar to the first one the technology one yeah <laughs> way different my it's man not, it's not <laughs> no i wouldn't do it for a million dollars i think like just having like that not having the freedom for a year would just be so shit you can't do what you want yeah. like somewhat similar in a sense to the first one but it's so different because you don't have that freedom you can't do what you want anymore okay you know what i mean i, I like that I, I do like that one yeah you have no paper nothing like no you're just in no there. you can get shit you in could jail. yeah yeah hard like what no you can get like bro paper? they give you no, bo- they give they you, give you like books. some places you can get electronics you get to request the book or are you reading like a fucking non-fiction from narnia <laughs> they have a library in there <laughs> uh yeah, i would definitely not take it no way no no chance. What about you, Steph? Definitely not, bro. Yeah, I would not survive in jail. I want to. I would want to say He'd yes, but I wouldn't. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 why, why do you no, want to? He would be to? sucking. He'd be getting fucked. No, I'm <laughs> saying I would want to for the million dollars, like to say, yeah, but like, okay. I don't think I would survive in jail. I agree. I also yeah, not think. only now are you going to jail for a million, but you're also sucking cock for a million and getting fucked in the ass. There's so it's a like three hundred thirty-three k for each. So I said no. True. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, so okay, so you said no because keep happening probably. Over yeah, the year. like once you suck the first one, you're sucking the entire row. Do you know what I mean? Like all the neighbors I, are. I said talk, no. Like the new guy. I said no. No, no, no. Yeah, right. Okay. Good answer. Choking on big fucking what horse cocks. <laughs> okay, this one's super unique. Would you do it for a million dollars? Knock out your girlfriend. Holy shit. So we'll go similar time length. You've been dating for a year, but you go to like... You go to jail? No. No repercussions. No, no I would say there's no repercussion. And I think it's fair that sh- she knows, obviously, right? She's going to know like where this million dollars came from. <laughs> uh, you can tell her after. <laughs> <laughs> she, she I'm, I'm just going to go with the no here. I'm not going to take the million dollars. Okay. Wouldn't want to have uh, knock out my girlfriend who I might end up marrying on my... Uh, Resume. Yeah, on my resume. It'd be a bad look for me. And on my conscience as well. That I would, yeah. Okay. What about you, Chanch? Oh, this is... For a guy I that beats on... Saying. For a guy that beats on the bag, you fucking... Would you give her, like, the one-two? Just, claw, like, fucking knocked out. Fuck. That's just tough to... Like, I don't think... 
I don't think personally. I don't think I can. Like that's just tough. How does she look at you the same? How do you look at her the same? I fucking just snuffed her. Yeah, but well, I think it's a mutual, yeah, it's a mutual agreement. Mutual right? agreement. Do you know what I mean? Even if she doesn't I know, I couldn't do it. it with my bare fist because I think like anytime I look at my fist, I'm just gonna be like just disgusted myself. But if I put on a glove or something, I might be able to do it. Okay, so with with the boxing glove, yes. Yeah, because like I don't one. actually. It's feel... gotta be bare knuckle though. Wait, what? It's, it's gotta be bare knuckle. Bro, did you Why? see the amount of stipulations that they put on me? Obviously, it's gotta be bare knuckle. Bare knuckle. <laughs> I just have to knock her out. You're probably not gonna knock. No, Jay, I could Jay, knock her out with a put, say glove. bare knuckle, Jay. Uh, fucking it, I, I, the, honestly, bro, the thing just says knocking her out. So now I, I can have a fucking pillow on I my hand. I just, don't care whether you yeah, have you a fucking, fucking baseball bat. Her. Yeah, I don't care whether you got a baseball bat. Like she has oh, to be knocked dude, out. She's gonna die. Man. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. she has to be that's, knocked that's out. Like her saying she's right. knocked out. Crack. Guys, I'm saying she has to be knocked the fuck out. I think with a boxing glove, I would do it. If like this is a mutual thing, like we need the money, kind of. Well, you can tell her after. Yeah, she knows like million dollars coming in. No, no, you can tell her after. That's the one thing I'll say. Like, you oh, can like tell her like, You're just, just walking up to her. And <laughs> <laughs> Bro, oh, it really shit. doesn't matter because she's going to get knocked out. So, like... <laughs> oh, shit. You're going to tell her. She's going to be waking up. You just, like, bombard her with whatever she wants when she wakes up. You know what I mean? So, Steph, just, so you're like, going to do it. Oh, Bro, no. I'll say this. Maybe I would not. do it. Okay. Yo, but, what the... Fuck? Let, me talk, let him talk. Let him cook. First of all, mutual agreement. Like, you're taking one for the team. No, she said... Uh, well, you fight, You tell her after. You yeah, tell her after. I, I still mean by... I guess it's not mutual. <laughs> You just gotta knock her out and hope she's okay with it after. I would do the reverse. The fuck does that? I'd let her knock me out for a million dollars. That's not the question. (laughs) No, I'm trying to say like I would allow that to happen, so I'm gonna do this. Oh. Oh, are you trying to play the 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 card of like I'm still a good guy here? No, I'm like I'm like like, I. I would allow if the roles were reversed. I wouldn't be mad if she did that to me. Oh no, I hope so. Uh, Like yeah, I wasn't. So I would expect her to. You would you would encourage her to say yes if the question was brought to her. Exactly. Fuck it. I'll get knocked out for a million dollars. <laughs> you wouldn't get knocked out for a million dollars. No, I would. Okay. I'd, I'd just look at you. <laughs> that is such a you answer, bro. You wouldn't. Yeah. Get, so would no, you? I would personally get knocked out for a million dollars, but I wouldn't want to knock out my girl for a million dollars. I just wouldn't want any damage done to her. It's so much easier to knock her out, though. Yeah, I know. It is, but like, I just wouldn't, but I wouldn't want, want any damage out. done to her face or anything. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, but that's why I put the glove on. Okay, fine. All, right. that All good, man. All right, so We're just no, this, this one specific. I don't clip think that's that bad. Steph's doing this, and he's gonna rip the. No, again. I don't think it's that bad. No, it's not that bad. That's not that bad. I seen really? yeah, girls in the comments are gonna be like, yeah, knock my ass out for a million. Exactly. If no, my, if my boyfriend bad, ain't knocking my ass out for a million, I'm gonna knock his ass out for free. Dude, those those trends would always go ra- go around, right? Would you yeah. knock your? Girlfriend, yeah, like, would all you right. cheat? All those ones is like, would you would you cheat on your girlfriend for a billion? A billion yes. dollars is a lot. Yes. Yeah, and then you're, <laughs> and then the girls are like, if my boyfriend doesn't cheat on me for a billion dollars, that's a whole different story. A billion and a million, though. <laughs> yeah, but just knocking them out. They're waking up, you know. Okay. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I, last one I here. Last one here. <laughs> <laughs> would you do it for a million dollars? Go to school or work for an entire week. Butt ass naked. Yo. Nah, that's fucked. <laughs> Yo. First of all, you'd probably lose your No job. repercussions. So like you're allowed to do this too. You have like I'll say this. The f- that whole week is like there's they're just letting it happen. But we don't know what happens after the week. Uh, oh, so your life could be ruined. Yeah, though. you could lose your job. It's just like, all right, whatever. This guy's being a weirdo for a week. But, yeah, but you're also getting a million dollars. You're losing that job, but like mm. think about it. You're getting a million dollars for a week of work. A week of just showing up, and you could still do your great job. Well, at work. no, naked. a lot of people with a stable job would say might say no to that. Okay, well, for your situation, stuff. I know. Okay, my situation, it would be kind of weird if I showed up to work for a, a week naked. It'd be all over the internet. So yeah, like, it would be all. Over I mean, if you showed up to work naked any time, it would probably show up all over the internet. Or even let's say let's say you're back to you know the trades. You're showing up to these. These places butt ass fucking naked with your belt, bro. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no, nah, I would not do that, man. I'd be so scared about like cutting my dick or something. <laughs> That's what you'd be scared, That's about? What you're scared about. Yeah, man, it's fucking. You never not know. Like, you just feel weird, like twenty four seven naked around. I mean, I feel weird and shit, but I think the biggest thing would be getting like sparks flying in my dick. <laughs> yeah, well. something going, something rubbing against my dick that it's gonna cut it. Like, you know, not a pretty solid answer. So no, no, change. No. You're not doing it? Just because I'd be embarrassed. Same. <laughs> Why would you be embarrassed? Because I'd be naked. Oh. And I have a hairy butt. 
You're also a tall and big human being, so like with a small dick, <laughs> <laughs> you would stick out like a sore thumb, bro. <laughs> yeah, it would. All right, what about you, Steph? I probably wouldn't do it either. No I, way. Yeah, but it's not. What do you mean? Like, bro, dude, people yours? can't look at you the same after you yeah, come. Yeah, but like, I feel like yeah, you're gonna get so much respect. Better. No, they're man. gonna be like, damn, this yeah, guy's like, him. It doesn't matter whatever size. Like, it's just <laughs> even if it was small, man, it's the same thing. People just look at you weird. Yeah. So, like, so you think it doesn't matter whether it's like if smaller you had his cock, would you do it? I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it, man. Like, it's not the People are going to look at you like you're like a pedo or something. Like, it's weird. Yeah. Because you're showing up yeah. also like there's going to be kids. But they might understand the if they shit, knew that so you like, were getting a million dollars. I don't know. No, I wouldn't do it, though. A pedophile charge? Yeah, you wouldn't do it? Yeah. No. Either would I. You wouldn't? Why not? No. Just... I got. I'm not working with what you're working with. Okay, so you would. I would consider it a lot more with what you got, because I'd be like, at the end of the day, if I saw that guy down the street in Toronto, and he's got his fucking briefcase, he's got his, I don't know, whatever, he's got his bag, and then he's just fucking hung like an absolute giraffe, be like, God damn, you see that guy's caught? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think like, you why is that guy but new? I'd be like, that guy's hung like a fucking cow. Just That's what you would think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, no, why like, is he naked? <laughs> well, like I would think about it. But like I would, and then he just dropped his knee. I also feel, I yeah. also feel like, yeah, I also fuck? feel, I also feel like we live in a society where like that wouldn't surprise me if like guys started walking around like naked. Like, don't they do that somewhere in Toronto anyways? On the gay pride. Yeah. So like, there's they're already letting this happen every, like every week, once a weekend. So like, if I just saw no, him once going a to year, work, man. Yeah, yeah it's like year. it's like for like an hour maybe in the year, not like still naked people on the streets. Like, if you did, I'd be like, all right, that guy's. You kind of would fit into one of those parades. Nah, bro. <laughs> if anything, it'd be you. Why? I just feel like you're feminine. <laughs> <laughs> what about him makes you think he's feminine? Elaborate. I'm curious. Uh, I don't know. He's just feminine. I thought it, I thought it was a fucking misogynist, Chip. How can I be? Both? I've never called. I never. I've no, never said you. <laughs> you can still be feminine. All right. And active All right. Next and segment. Misogynist. Next segment. Because now, yeah, Steph's not a misogynist. No, it's been like two hours. Has no, it, it hasn't. No, we started late, dude. When did we, we start? We started like 11. 144. I mean, we only have two clips. Okay. So we got to do the craziest world records. Okay. Okay. Um. Why would... I mean, we just won't have clips. Wait, what do you mean? All these clips. They, uh, that was going to be like four per. I had eight. It's so only two videos. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I just don't think there's enough context. Because a lot of it is the same, essentially. So it's one person describing... Okay. Okay, now we're going to get into the craziest world records. So everyone's got two world records that they got off the top of their dome piece. Also, you're going to cut that shit out. Yeah. No, don't everyone's got Everyone's got two records that they oh, got off the top of their dome. No, it's not off the top of the, my dome. You researched it. Exactly. Okay. Obviously, I had to. Steph, we'll start with you. Okay. You fucking boner. <laughs> yeah, it's because of that laugh. Whoa. That's the feminine okay, laugh. Okay, the furthest... Okay, my world... Okay, yo, stop. <laughs> my world record is the furthest distance of squirt... Uh, furthest distance to squirt milk from an eye socket. Yo. Wait. Whoa. I don't know exactly how they get the milk there. How it appears. Maybe they just like pour it. Oh. But it's like he goes like this and he squirts milk. <laughs> and the distance was <laughs> nine feet, two inches. Shit. Yeah. That's kind Elker of. Elker Yilmaz. What? In 2004 did this. What's his name? Elker y- y- Yilmaz. Okay, you mm-hmm. <laughs> He became a champion on September first. That's pretty sick. Would you ever do one of those? Would you ever try to beat that world record? Um, how do you get milk in your eye socket? How do you get? How milk do you squirt you? milk from your eye socket? Yeah. How, how, there's a lot of questions I have going on about this whole process. It's like he's lactating from his eyes. That's dis- is that even normal? It's gross. It's yeah. It's like he was yeah. It was like like he was crying milk when I saw the picture. Oh God. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. What else you got? I don't even know how you find out you do that. You can do that. You know what I mean? I don't know either. Some weird world records. Yeah. The next one is the largest object removed from a human skull. Oh, uh, say asshole. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was a drill bit. On August 15, 2003, Ron Hunt was awarded a Guinness World Record for surviving a near-fatal accident where there was a drill spinning still, and he just fell, and it went right in his right eye socket. Oh, what the Yo. fuck, dude? 18 inches. What? There's no the, way. The drill bit was 18 inches. Yo, there's no way he's not only that. did he land on it, but he landed on his face. Oh, yeah, sorry. After being admitted to the hospital, they had put 
they said if it like it didn't touch his brain. Eighteen inches. No, I think it like went like on an angle sometimes. Bro. You know what I mean? You know, Bro. like sometimes people get shot in the head but they don't die. Bro. So basically, this one was yeah, it didn't touch his brain, but if it did, he would have died. And they took it out. Yep. Eighteen inches. It went. Well, the whole bit was eighteen. It didn't go. 18 yeah, like deep. It, yeah, exactly. Like it could have been maybe like six inches in. Oh my god, bro! I don't. That's fuck. Oh, imagine dude, like I'm like crazy. That's, that's like one of those things it, where it's bro. like if that happens, like you kind of want it. Like that's so painful. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, I'm like. Mm. Yeah, that was fucked, Steph. <laughs> that was fucked, dude. Mac, do you have anything normal? Yeah. Okay, what do you have? <laughs> you know, I, I stuck. You said that's so weird, man. <laughs> I stuck in the uh, sports industry. Okay. I went with the uh, furthest drive of a golf ball of all time. What do you guys think? How long do you think it is? Uh, 423 yards. I'm going to go 450. All right, f- f- 500. The longest drive of all time was done by a man named Carl Cooper. He drove it 700 and 87 yards on the third hole in the 1992 Texas Open at Oak Hills Country Club. The reason why it went so far is because he hit it, and then it was going on a downhill, hit a cart path, and then it just, like, kept going. Oh, so this is not carry, but, like... It just, yeah, collectively distance. So we got really lucky, and it, he ended up... um Double bogeying that hole. Wow. Yeah, because, because he was like hole. so far past the hole. Yeah, the hole oh, was probably I like was say, what kind of hole is like dude. that far? Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. And it was like, as per law of physics, the ball took an almighty bounce, bouncing down the path with like increasing speed. So it got faster and faster. That guy's drive is like three times, more than three times my drive. Yep. It's, it was two, it's 250 yards longer than any drive in history. Damn. So that's like not like, that's not going to be luck. That's no, just straight it's just luck. straight luck, yeah. Well, it's luck. It's the curb path, right? The curb path they, luck, yeah. Yeah. He had a good. He had a good drive, and then it just hit the curb path, and just fucking kept going. Dude. That's wild. That's wild. Okay, what else you got? Got the uh, fastest round of golf ever played. Eighteen holes Eight, by one dude. Eighteen holes by one dude. Rocking or cart? Well, it's, I don't know. Running? Doesn't doesn't specify. Probably like I'm gonna go. Eighteen holes. Eighteen holes. One dude. With cart? I'm going to say cart. Cart obviously will make you go faster. I'm I don't know. going to specify. say. Forty two minutes. Now I'm going to say. Okay. I'm going to say just under an hour. I'm going to say one hour and three minutes. Okay. James Carville at Warren Golf Cl- uh, Golf Course played 18 holes, 6,154 yard, 18 hole course. And he put, he did it in twenty seven minutes and nine seconds. That what? Didn't, that didn't in nineteen eighty seven. Okay, so had to be a cart. Had has to be. Has you're to like be cart, you're like this right? is a workout. Like you're running. Well, what's it's a professional sport though, yards. actually too. What do you mean? It's a professional sport, speed golf. I mm. saw it on TikTok. No way. Guys are shooting par and pl- and finishing in forty minutes. What? Yeah, I don't know how this guy did it in this long, but it's on Guinness World Records site. But there's on TikTok. Speed golf and guys are consistently doing golf at forty minute pace. Like the thing that makes the and most they're shooting time, well. What the thing that makes the most time? Bro, is that's the, gotta be a f- like six. He's running six kilometers in twenty seven minutes. Like he's driving. Just that alone is impressive. Yeah, like they never driving, stopping though. to hit. They never said anything about a cart or him running. It just specified as has that. Has to be so. a cart. It has to be. has to be a cart. There's no way you're also carrying your golf. There's no way you can't even run six. It's gotta be carted. Fast. It's gotta be yeah. carted. But like. He he shot. What did he shoot? It didn't say specify what he shot. <clears throat> you can run six kilometers in twenty-seven minutes. Yeah, but just that alone yeah, is yeah. impressive. Let alone a bag shooting your ball, finding the ball. Feel like you never shot be perfect. Like. You don't need to. Yeah, I guess you. Do. Yeah, every shot also like you're has on to the be fairway. where it is. Fairway, yeah, it's like, teeing up. Like, yeah. You waste time trying to find your ball. Like you gotta know it's there. Run up to it. Pick, pre-predict the fucking club. Like this is wild. You're basically like hitting the ball. And then instantly taking off right after doing your next ball. Running. And then be like, all right, what club am I thinking like in my head? All right, I'm using use my wedge right now. Like, and then go. And it's mm. probably like a course that he's played too. That's you know fucked. I mean? so it's, yeah, you'd have to know. Yeah, like he knows. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I need to do this, this whole like you need. Yeah. To- That's fucked. Fuck. That's fucked. Change, what do you got? So I got some fucking weird ones. Let's hear them. <laughs> oh, I'm going to tell you them, Steph. First up here, we have the most penis castrations. What the fuck does that mean? Cutting your cock off. Bro, what are you... 
I don't no, even know this is in what like, sense though. Like, yeah, what most, was the reason for doing it? Like, what do you mean the most? Like one person doing like he <laughs> cashier like what? Maybe this was a doctor. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, one person, not a doctor. <laughs> is I this mean, a number? He might be considered a doctor after this feat. <laughs> Let's see. Tell me the number. Oh, um, it's like random number. Okay, I'm gonna go. There's no time span either, so like in his whole life, I'm gonna go like forty nine. I just made a random number. Oh. I'm thinking this guy was like a freak or something. Like, God damn. I'm gonna rip like 1,500. Okay. What? Oh, this number is retarded, isn't it? 3,200. Okay, so in 1300 BC, King Met- Menephtha defeated king. the Libyans and to celebrate, cut off 13,000 oh. penises Max from the right defeated there, army. He is oh no, wait, how much did you say? 13,000. Oh. An knew. ancient monument to him lists the names of all the penis owners. That's such a fucking like medieval times thing to do, man. That I, is. Just take a man's manhood right there. Just chop imagine them all like off. how much time you spend doing that. Yep, a lot of time, a lot of cocks held. That's like a lot of cocks held. Is that gay? That is. Dead. Yeah. I would say like yeah. Like, when you don't have to do that, and you're like choosing to go and like touch this guy's thing, and like it's kind of weird. Like, I, you just like you already won the war or whatever that battle. <laughs> I would say he's like just sus. I don't know if it's us, though. It's just more so, like, empowering. Like, you're like, yo, these guys are no longer men. And they're, like, our... They're dead, bro. You're not dead if you get your shit cut off. He said they just castrated. Oh. They said it's a common thing back in the day to do. Wait, but how did... I thought he won the battle and he did this to, like, dead guys. No. Yeah, they defeated the Libyans and to celebrate cut off their penises. I don't know if defeated means they're all dead or if they just like surrendered. Uh, I'd assume they surrendered based off that because then it's just that would be gay if he cut off. They're <laughs> dead. dead. They're yes. dead. Yeah, that's, that's sus. what I thought he meant. That'd be sus. That's bro. sus. It's like, yo, dude, like, like, like we just killed him. Like, why are you chopping his dick off, man? He's like, dude, it's fun. Like, all right, bro. <laughs> yeah, you gotta take off all his armor, pull down his pants, <laughs> and then fucking cut off. <laughs> no, this is gay. That's, that's so gay. gay. <laughs> all right, good one, Chance. What's next? Okay, the next one here <laughs> is the most amount of semen ingested. Wait, what? Of course you, you Googled it. He tracked this shit, man. What are you typing in on Google? I don't know. It's the world <laughs> records, man. Nah, he typed I, it. He knew what dome. he was typing, bro. <laughs> it's off the dome, dude. <laughs> the dome piece. I don't know, man. It's, it's in, in pints. pints. So uh, just pints? Throw. Wait, what? <laughs> it's in pints. <laughs> yeah, it's Ew, in pints. man. Like, I don't know. Two, two pints. We got 200 pints. 200? <laughs> I don't know. There's some fucking freaky people out there okay. in the world. How much did you say? Two pints? Say four. Okay, yeah. So Michelle Monahan of LA ingested 1.7 pints of semen, which was measured when she had her stomach pumped. That's so I don't know if this was like. There's no way it all just sits in there, though. It doesn't digest. It's not a. There's no way it's <laughs> lifetime. Does this, how does that happen? Not lifetime. Definitely not lifetime. No, it that must was have probably been within like, like the last 20 Dude, she hours. must have gone like That's a massive fucked. like streak and then like got her stomach pumped. Yeah. Bro, you know what I mean? probably she was sick or something. One point seven liters. Her stomach. One point seven liters. Pints or pints. How much? Is it by happen to chance be that girl who had sex with like four hundred dudes in one sitting or seven hundred? That's what I mean. No. Like you know, you just she got needs ran to suck through. The cock, though. Yeah, but you could have just fucking finished. Everyone, half, everyone just finished in her mouth. It's a water bottle. <laughs> it's <laughs> that's so much, it's man. Slightly less than this. Oh, Chip. I'm Dude. seeing like a pint of beer. Right now, this is yeah. Like, a pi- this is apparently a pint. That's like how much one U.S. Like, bro, liquid pint is half a liter. That's like mm. one ser- serving right there. No, nah, but a pint like a beer is bigger. I feel like. <laughs> yeah, like you know when you, oh, can I get a pint? Yeah, it is. It looks like bigger at least. Okay, similar. No, five. Yeah, a pint is usually like a tall boy. Huh. Which is four seventy three. It's just mil- a glass. I guess I thought it'd be fucking more. Yeah. Looks like more in the cut. In the Imagine restaurant. just chugging a bottle of semen. I'm good. Fuck, bro. <laughs> I'll pass, man. I'm good. But I mean, that's it. Would you do it for a million dollars? No. <laughs> oh, fuck. You're swallowing that for a million? I think yes. that's less gay than that's, sucking that's a dick. It's not as bad as a dick, <laughs> yeah, bro, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, me <laughs> too. <laughs> the he fuck? changed up, bro. The fuck? Yeah, bro. Right. Hundo, On that man. Note, thank you guys for listening. <laughs> Episode 42 of Squad Brunch Podcast, where we talk about a lot of dicks <laughs> and million dollars. Dude. Peace out, boys. <laughs> Less gay? Bro. It's not. Is that less gay? Because you're not actually doing you're anything gay. Bro, it's just a weird substance at this point. It's definitely less gay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah.